Yeah, there we go now, so. Yeah, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> Is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her. Somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he has her shit. Yes, sir. 51. Motherfucking 50 in the motherfucking house. Yeah, Dicks yeah. in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Crib full of doubt. Mm. All the children pout. Halloween, the bitch trick or treating with her mouth. Mm -hmm. All right, fuck it. I ran out. Way to go, Phil. Phil got me healthy over here with some water to my left. <laughs> I don't want to be healthy tonight. I want to be fucked up tonight. Uh, is it gonna be your last one? Is that what you're saying? You're gonna go out with a bang? No, this ain't oh. my last one. Damn, damn! No, I thought he said he was gonna remember last week. Oh, oh I'm doing yeah. the one with little ten, ten oh. pounds. Okay, I about wouldn't one. do that. I'm not that. Oh my it's god! Sound a little deathly, dude. Okay, well, no, of deathly. course I wouldn't go there. Off the rip. No. I am Corey Holcomb. This is Darlene O.G. Ortiz. Hello. Motherfucking precise. What's the motherfucking deal? With the voice from motherfucking. Squeaking mice. Damn, I got to ah, come over to the chat room. Oh, it's too tiny. Uh -huh. Small as hell. You can't that, see that. that. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't see it either, D. Oh, come ah. on. You definitely can't. Hold on, right there. Stay right there and let's see. Can you read that, Corey? I can see it, but it's, it needs to be bigger. Uh-uh, he can't read it. See, I can somebody read say, it right there. Somebody, yeah, them motherfuckers talking shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> it looked like the lead singer. Who I said? They said I look like the lead singer from EU. Fuck y'all, man. <laughs> Brandon Press. Fuck y'all, dude. Uh, <laughs> doing the butt. Freaky, uh, freaky. Uh, Extra. Dun, dun, dun. I don't even know what he's talking about. Yeah. Let me put this shit out there because I don't want to forget it. I have to warn the people because this is my job. I am a person who travels on airlines all the time and this has been going on for a while but it's starting to hit the mainstream and i'm really glad because it's the worst i can't believe that the government would allow an airline to rob people like this airline does i'm talking about american break it down for us of course who we used know. to be motherfucking um and i can believe it u.s air Right. People think American Airlines is a high-end airline. Mm -mm. No, <laughs> motherfucker. They cancel more flights than any motherfucker. You on Spirit's uncle? Is that what's going on? American way more fucked up than Spirit. Than Spirit? I'm telling y'all, because this is what happens. You go online and you see these flights. They got more flights than anybody, because they <laughs> will put them up there. And act like you finna get on a plane. Mm. 
knowing they gonna get, when you get there, they gonna be like, yo, uh, the flight canceled. Huh. And of course, naturally, you be like, well, well, what they gonna do? They always say, we'll try to find you something. Yeah. They, we got some other shit going on. You, you go on the... You going to Columbus, Ohio? We can drop you off um, in Akron, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is how they run you. Mm. Don't dare ask for no money back. The process with American Airlines, and there's a couple others that do this, but American Airlines is the worst. They get your money with the imaginary flight they got online. Mm. The flight ain't going to go out. And when you ask for your money back, you have to go online and request it from a website and they may or may not give you your money back even though the motherfucking flight didn't go out. It says they've canceled a total of over 2,300 What is that, flights. recently? Yeah, I'm looking at the, at the updates right now on what's going on. No, they've been canceling flights for years. Pre flights but are, recently it's, it's really... I used to tell people, if you book an American Airlines flight, Chances are that flight is not going out. They just put it on the schedule. And to get your money back is a no-no. They'll tell you what you can do is book another flight with us with yeah. that money. And just move the money to another spot in the but same you, We house. got your money, nigga. Yeah, same house. They got 600 and some dollars of mine right now. Because one day I was so desperate to get somewhere and I was like, fuck. I got to try this shit. And I wasn't even mad when I got to the airport because I already knew what it was. I was like, is that flight taking off? Uh, uh I was like, it ain't even really no flight, is it? Uh, the sister, uh, Cheryl Lee Riley, she's an actress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She posted something about how she barely got to her gig because the American Airlines flight, it wasn't real. It says but right it's here on since, the website. It says since Friday, since Friday they've stranded passengers across the United States of more than two thousand flights. People missing funerals, vacations, and and and, and unexpected hotel bills. Um, they're saying something about it. It goes to show you something about, uh, or they're claiming um, people not wanting to work or inflation. And no, they act like, like the this. people don't want to work. That's the excuse everybody using. American Airlines. It's fucking everybody over. See, what happened, Spirit Airlines was fucking over um, motherfuckers as well, even the employees, and the pilots walked out. Mm -hmm. So motherfuckers were stranded with that. But I don't want American to fly under the radar because people would think, oh, you flew Spirit. No, no it's American <laughs> who yeah. take your money, like somebody said on there, hold it hostage mm. with flights that don't even go through. Mm. So this holiday season, Ooh, be if you're going to see your people, let's watch what happened to everybody mm -hmm. who tries to book American. It's an imaginary flight online. I'm telling you, they fuck people over big time. And it's even hard for uh, still uh, rental car situations as they were saying how a lot of students were trying to fly back. So they had to catch flights as close as they could to the state they were going to and then try to drive in. <laughs> That's how bad it was. So. This is common. This is not nothing that just happened. What happened was recently it hit the air. But these people have enough juice to make it where it isn't an all-out attack on that airline. Mm. But I'm attacking them because they took my money. <laughs> Give me my money. I knew the flight wasn't going to be. I was yeah. like, man. Somebody say, Corey, come do a Chicago show. Schomburg Improv. Look up the website. Third week in December. All right. Oh, shit. What I'm saying is... Um, it's my job to put my podcast on the line by telling the truth. Now, there are some things that I know if I say this, they're going to take this podcast. So I try to cool out, talking about the poison that's out there. Mm. We call it poison. But, I, man, after watching, somebody said Corey got on the Ray Charles Nike collection. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Raid and soda together, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm a fucking take shit, are. man. Corey looked like a South African flag. Damn. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm just putting y'all up on game, yeah, man. Yeah, that's terrible. When you be online and you see them American flights, dude, you're going to get to the airport and be like, what? Oh, man. They, they, what do you mean it's not a flight? 
What happened to you, Precise? Uh-oh. They had me sitting on that motherfucking tarmac taxiway for at least about fucking, like I was supposed to get to, uh, to from Miami, and I think to Jersey, I think it was, and they just had everybody sitting in that motherfucker like, we understand you guys have connecting flights, but uh, what we're going to do is just tell everybody that has, uh, that doesn't have a connected flight, just just go ahead and sit down and then let everybody that does have a connected flight go. They didn't give a fuck. Everybody your Damn. flight, your yeah. flight that you got on, was it the original flight? Like when you got to the airport, was that the flight you were supposed to get on? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, you got lucky. you didn't make yeah. it to your following You got flight. lucky. Yeah, I didn't make it to the, to the next connection. Connecting. Because that the, can happen with any airline, yeah. but I'm just saying, I don't hear good stories about those people mm-hmm. over there at American Airlines. So everybody who them book flights to go see their family for the weekend, I feel sorry for everybody who flying American who is thinking they finna get to the place where they thought they was going to get to when they <laughs> thought they was going to get there. Uh, it ain't going to happen. If you get there, it's luck. Uh, or they watch 5150 show, fucking do it right. <laughs> show, make Corey look stupid. You better jump your ass on a train or something. You better do something <laughs> other than fuck with them people, man. Leave a day or two ahead. God, that's terrible. Anyway, man, I had to put people up on game, Especially man. Especially with the holidays coming up. All these airlines have problems, man. But I'm just saying, man, I watch time after time after these people get people money. Mm. And then the people at the gate be like, we ain't got nothing to do with the money. You got you to gotta, you gotta go on the website or something and talk by texting on the website oh about your money. God. And nobody, you still don't talk to nobody. You, you just... You get an email, and they might be like, hey, fuck you. We'll keep your money, and if you want to use an American flight, you just got to book us again. Now, what kind of cold-blooded shit is that? (laughs) American Airlines was the only airlines that was keeping your money when um, it was a time where they had had the shit where you get 24-hour refund. Mm. Because it's, you know, can you imagine all the people who get robbed by the airlines? So then they say you get 24 hours to refund people money when you book flights on these airlines. Within 24 hours, you could be like, I cancel it. Right. American Airlines was the only one that said, you can't cancel nothing <laughs> with us. We got your money, nigga. You rolled the dice the hey, moment you booked it. Baby, <laughs> baby, I, baby, I got, got, got your money. <laughs> Damn. They got Somebody, the ner- they got the nerve too to be having a uh, like on their Twitter and their Instagram ad- cutesy advertising for the holidays. Like they put one out for Halloween when you've got places to be and spells to cast and the broom can't get you there. Happy Halloween! Ha 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 ha. That was their in- that was their Twitter message on Halloween. <laughs> I'm like, what the? I'm I don't think people you. are laughing. Uh, people Island. booking holiday travel. And ahead of time, yeah. When you go on a lot of these websites, the main flights you see are American. Book it if you want to. <laughs> Roll those dice. Uh. Book that flight if you want to. Uh-oh, you fucked over there, Tom. Somebody say, I just booked a flight uh, with American Airlines last night for you, for Thanksgiving. Tony. That's Tony Goins. That's my homie from motherfucking uh, North Carolina. Yeah. Hey, homie, and what's crazy? You better check the, the refund oh, policy, you, policy on there. See, yeah. Tony lives in North Carolina, Charlotte, where American Airlines is a hub. Oh, yeah. yeah. So a hub meaning easy. like most of their flights go Don't through go Charlotte. Up. So he might have a All you people home. in Charlotte, I'm telling you, you better try something else. Oh, from here. You're talking about from L.A. too, though, to get. I don't give a fuck where you at. See, in Charlotte, you actually have a better chance of making your flight because they got so many flights Coming that come there. in and out of there. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I, okay, book LA. LA on American from anywhere. You're going to be up there all day in that food court buying a $12 hot dog, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you think I'm bullshit, boy. You're going to be fucked up. Somebody say catch the train. The train is cool, too, yeah. especially if you mm-hmm. ride with some pussy. You can get some pussy, oh, oh. You get some pussy on the train. <laughs> train. Don't book that sleeper car. It's worth it. <laughs> Ain't nothing like nothing than going to sleep mm-hmm. and waking up in motherfucking dinner. <laughs> the train better going to places like that too. Yeah, Look, in the winter time, in the winter time, this is what happens with um I'm getting people the game on flights. When you book a flight that go through a city that's winter time, mm. you still have a chance of missing your flight. Cause the flights have to be de-iced. The wings of the plane have to be de-iced. Yep. So and everything's that shit a little take, That shit could take 40 minutes, mm-hmm. maybe even an hour. 
and your connection be late. I'm just giving you the the, the travel headache, nigga. I That's know. I be at man, it. boy. I, somebody said Corey got that jacket from American Airlines. Fuck y'all, nigga. G Mars, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> They're so silly. More like an Allegiant jacket. Yeah. I'm putting y'all up on game, man. I heard some shit about back on, on something else. Y'all heard what I said. Now we gonna we gonna check in again on that after Thanksgiving and see how many people got fucked. Yeah, right. Oof. Cause I know what's finna happen to motherfuckers. Don't book American Airlines. Somebody say you're right. Just blew from just flew from Charlotte to JFK. Wait a minute. You're right. I just flew. To and from Charlotte, from JFK, no delays or nothing. Well, oh, well, out. good, good, yeah. good luck, it's brother. Charlotte, though, Charlotte, well, yeah, but what that, airline? That's hub, so mm. it, it's no, that's really good. Expensive. I'm glad you didn't have no delays. Mm. Book it again, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Book it again. You gonna get got, nigga. A human parachute, it's right? Uh, and just, <laughs> Corey, you said Corey looked like he chilling with the guys on 39th of King Drive. Nigga, fuck y'all, nigga. <laughs> I'm a good Christian man. Oh, oh that's hilarious. It is hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm telling you, I'm gonna start hustling that Christianity, dog. These internet comics taking all the yeah, road gigs. Mm-hmm. Well, you started it a long time ago, so we have witness. We're witness to that. Jesus. Uh huh. The Corinthians <laughs> and stuff like that. We we were we witnessed to that that you started a lot of that a long time ago. I, look, look. What is this shit? Now I hear is some shit going on with the vice president. And the little funky ass hater bitch that he got as vice president. What is the what is the shit called? They said something about um, Kamala. You ain't got nothing on that, do you? No, Kamala. I can look at. What up. is they shit? Why is it all on the internet where they like they playing out? I know that I know that um, it was some shit going on with the um, immigrants that was coming in where they tried to settle out with some fuck money over them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, was, and that was her position. They gave that. He get, apparently gave that to her, like issued her take her that. That's, that's take take who what? Uh, apparently, he had issued her that thing, like the, with the, the children, order. with the immigrants. Do you so, deal oh, with it? You saying like, the president? The president issued Kamala that, like a, she, you're in charge of that type right. thing. Yeah, you were under that. I know that. So, um, I so don't, this is what I'm saying. It's some immigrants ain't never got shit. And they built this country. We are not natives of America, black people. I know you think you are. Nigga, you was brought here. Even though before the invaders came to America, there was black people here already. There was no wars. It was Indians, blacks. People got along. I mean, of course, it was always some shit jumping off at mm. the teepee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it was it was little fights here and there, but not no all-out yeah. war. Genocide. Right. Yeah, yeah. When the invaders got here mm-hmm. of it. and murdered off almost all the Indians, they went and kidnapped us, because they don't teach this shit in school no more, right? Mm-hmm. You know that, right? Critical race theory. They even say they even say black people came here as indentured servants in yeah. some of these books. Yeah. So we got to tell them what's happening. We were kidnapped and brought here. The people who look like you, Kamala Harris, with your what they say the bitch mixed with Indian and Jamaican. Indian. What is the fuck is Indian and Jamaican? It, it's, Jamaican is mainly black people, right? Yeah, and her mom's... I've seen a lot of Asian people over there, too. But that's what I'm saying. It's like everybody want to say everything but being black. I'm telling you, we are immigrants who never got a dime for building this nation and being murdered, kidnapped, thrown overboard, all that shit. So, But, but they give reparations to fucking Japanese who wasn't even... Uh, in that era, they give the fucking grandchildren reparations for shit that happened like in the 20s. They should have been giving us reparations for building this whole fucking Wait a minute, well, let me read some of this uh, shit. Hold on, I with the chat care. room. Go back down a little bit, just a little bit more, because I done seen some sucker shit uh, up here. A little bit down, a little bit further. Hold on. Barack Corey, Obama. we are indigenous. Facts. Right, right, that means that what, what is he? What is he saying when the he say we're originals? The originals to this whole fucking land. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Black people were here as well. Yeah. 
It was the real Indian looking mm-hmm. people, but I'm they telling were you. Indians, but right. They were black. Ooh, la, 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 la. Fry some chicken. <laughs> you know what? Oh, you know what I'm saying? We Lord. all know this. This is what I'm saying. Oh. You know? <laughs> How is the Kool Aid coming along? Oh. You know what I'm saying? We know what it is, but there are people out there that really don't know this because it's taboo to say this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, we've been indigenous and aboriginal to anything that you've Somebody say we're not from Africa, sir. We all have different It looks like, what is it? Ori 111. We're not from Africa? As far as speaking of the aboriginal. Life started in Africa. According to what the white people told us. Well, a lot of black people told me that too. Um, the oldest bones of human beings were found in Africa. A black woman was the <laughs> oldest bones ever found. <laughs> Sisters, found in, uh... the mother of civilization. Huh? The mother of civilization is the black woman. That's the that's, oldest that's, bones found. Now, all you motherfuckers who don't know this, I'm not mad at you because they don't teach this. This is like taboo. Like, if you go to school and you say this, you might get suspended. The way it go nowadays. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody say, no, they wasn't, G. <laughs> somebody, somebody, no, Lucy. They put the shit up there. Yeah, no, that's what I was getting ready to say. They found Lucy in Brazil because that's, that's the first story that they were saying, but the, the latest you know, that has been debunked is they found it in Brazil area, the South America pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And it was full fucking what you would call Negroid, N- Negroid features. Yeah, they had the you pictures. Know, it was incredible. Nose, it's pretty incredible. Thick lips. The bottom line is that's the problem. It's like we're Hold to on, stop out it and go back place. down. They say we, Lucy we, was we proven what? Here, man. Hold on, go back down a little bit more. We start talking about galactically where we come from. I want to see. Lucy was proven to be a hoax, y'all. JJ. So Lucy ain't even real, huh? So the oldest bones, the, wait a minute, the oldest people alive are black folks from Australia. That's Justin Merritt. Hmm. That's what I'm saying, man. So you say Brazil. So old you're going to have, city. yeah. You say Brazil. I say Africa. <laughs> God damn it. Damn it, and I this shouldn't drink and look, a nigga I said, drink and look up at the damn thing. I almost a, spit a, a nigga little. said I just know Australia. <laughs> <laughs> You're they, so stupid. What? <laughs> I can't. I, uh, so you can say it. It's no, funny. That. The sheep people. Corey is the father of American <laughs> buffalo. <laughs> Daquan Smalls. Fuck Damn you, it. nigga. They Damn can't even pre date or post date. I almost the choked. She, aka Omeg. There's going to be, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, there probably was so, so <sighs> much life before, and all we're doing is going off a narrative that, like, even oh. the out of Africa theory came from a white man. Even the theory that we're supposed to be mm-hmm. apes came from a white man. It was a white man who was known to be racist and fucking got down with the whole Darwin theory. So I don't trust nothing that a fucking pilgrim cracker done got down. The Islamic uh, Corey's era Aztec paintings of us fighting white men with the Aztecs. That's fact, mm-hmm. yeah. Listen, this saying, is what I want. This is what I'll say. We don't have to talk about what we heard. Let's talk about what we know. Mm. Yeah. Everything they use to sell, they use hip hop. Facts. Super damn facts. Mm -hmm. Created by who? Well, it was created by the niggas, but goddamn, it was handled by the motherfucking you. With anything. Stolen by them people. As with everything else. Everything. Everything they sell, they got, they got, they got Asian people dancing. They got white people dancing. Liberty, liberty, liberty. You got the white boy <laughs> doing the moonwalk. <laughs> they use, listen to this. This liberty, is so liberty, important. Liberty. And I want y'all to argue this if you can. They use Yo. niggas. I mean, they use, they use our culture to sell it. But all the niggas on TV up, is fruit booties. <laughs> Buffoons. Oh my God. When I see that Jimmy Walker commercial. Oh, I saw it for the first time. Gosh darn it. Anybody who know about this fool, he be ready to fight you if you tell he him to say to. dynamite. He used to. Right, for years. You he see this to. motherfucker Jimmy Walker, you be like, say dynamite. He be like, oh, fuck you up. 
Now he an old brittle motherfucker. Ooh. I can't believe he did that commercial for that. That good times money ain't shit no more. Boy, that, it's bad times money. They put it on the check now. When I see this motherfucker, like, all you gotta do is call in. And when they gave it to me, I said, I'm a dynamite. I can't believe it. I said, this nigga can't even yell dynamite no more. He was so adamant about, like, he would snap on people if you saw him in public. What? And now. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I like life of motherfucker. I know it's gonna be, be rubbing it in and when I be old and fucked up if I live that long. <laughs> <laughs> but nigga, Ooh. when I see that commercial where he can't say dynamite right, and he can't even clap hard, oh, that nigga's oh. like, dynamite. <laughs> Shit your monkey ass down. He can't you clap hard. sucker ass nigga. Oh. He, was, he was off beat when he clapped. Man, this nigga couldn't even say dynamite. <laughs> no, it wasn't no sound. It wasn't no clap. He said, <laughs> like, you sucker ass nigga oh, for that dude. money, boy. But it probably wasn't Fax that right. thing up. Yeah. They make you yeah. do all kind of yeah. sucker yeah. shit. When yeah. the money get low, then the hungerness show. Show in the motherfucker. God damn it. Show for show. God. That motherfucker be on TV. Mm. <laughs> they got all kinds of elderly people on the commercial, they got a black lady with a deep ass voice. When they said me my check, I said uh, and then, The one lady sounds like a smoker. Just call in right now and they'll send it to you because when I got mine, I said, I don't mind. But here's the thing, I want to say. They cut between that. <laughs> cut. Get him some water. He's going to die. Here's He's the thing, Here's the thing right. I want to elaborate on that commercial for you. What? Is that anybody out there, especially because a lot of their old elderly folks have, you know, they watch, you know, TV like that. So they'll catch that commercial all throughout the day now. Here's what they should, you guys should really do is take responsibility and please don't let any of your elderly folks um, use that commercial because it it's just all a farce. It's not, it has nothing to do with their government stuff that they can get. It's not medi their uh, Medi-Cal stuff or anything like that. It's not, it's a farce. If you see the tiny little writing, it's is not even, it's not even connected to the government. Basically stuff. all that shit, them commercials during Jerry Springer so and Mark Povich is all them. sucker yeah, shit. Yeah, please don't let them. I do. sent off for my <laughs> benefits and got fucked in the ass real good. <laughs> That's so, what they need to be yeah, having them real keep commercials. Your old folks away from that. Please, if you're lonely and you need some help, don't fuck with us because we're <laughs> going to finish you off. <laughs> That's what them commercials need to say. We're going to take your cookies. <laughs> God, we're gonna screw you up. Yeah, I right. can see it coming. It's, yeah. it's all fuck shit. They get the old celebrities. You see Fran Tarkenton there? Not Fran Tarkenton. What's the what's the old quarterback name? They got him doing the sucker shit too. Uh, they be having to say who he Joe is. Now. Joe <laughs> Namer. No. Hey, come on, guys. I sit <laughs> off and face. what you can do is. Uh, no, what's hey, that I was like, shut the fuck up, <laughs> you piece of shit. Is that the times? guy with the big cop stash? <laughs> yeah, he, well, you like mean the cop, big, big cop, nose? But he's got a cop mustache. What's the one that has no, the big? No, that's the old boy. Oh, that's the other. He's still, a, he on that, um, uh, uh, you talking about, uh, ain't that the Magnum P.I. dude? <laughs> no, there's another, no, there's what another. Is his name? And that ain't Magnum P.I. I know who you talking about, too. He's on that TV yeah, show. Yeah, he's got a big wide It's a police head. TV show. And he's got a, no, this is a old football player, dude. Anyway, no, there's he too ain't, many. No, he ain't used to play football. I'm no. talking about an actor, but anyway. Ugh. Somebody say Joe Namath. Yeah. yeah. Them yeah. motherfuckers, boy, when they get them commercials, they on their last lick. <laughs> Trust me. They on their last lick, goddammit. <laughs> Reggie, oh, her name's Pearl. Don't worry, Pearl is not calling anything like that. I will not allow it. She is not going to call that number. So check this real <laughs> shit out. We do have to give big props to Brother Cube. Ice Cube, because Ice Cube did not mm -hmm. give in to the ultimatum of the Caucasian world, uh. which is shoot our shit in you if you want to work in this country. Oh, okay, hello, the hokey pokey. Why the fuck motherfuckers don't realize that we live in a place where they are saying, shoot my shit in you or you can't work here. Yeah. Mm. 
Sounds like a definite mandate to me. Man, will you say it Evil again? Evil mandate. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? These people are so cocky now. JT. Jarvis Fields, fifty dollars. What do he say? Let me go down that that thing again. Motherfucker, give me fifty dollars. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna read his shit. They get their swag juice. Uh huh. Purpose from us. They get everything. Time to pledge allegiance to our people. Exactly Jarvis Fields, that is a man right there. Shout out JT. These motherfuckers. Everybody want to avoid Africa. Y'all dog. so-called. Um, what is that? Aboriginals got conquered too. Everybody, wait a minute. Everybody wanna want to avoid Africa. Y'all so-called Maybe Aboriginals got conquered yeah. too. Well, I'm just saying, though, it's, you don't have to argue with people. Genocide about, will show you, you know, that. Yeah. You don't have to yeah. argue with people about where the oldest living people come from. That's people will say, man, the bones came from Australia. Yeah, okay, my like. nigga. Whatever the fuck you want to say, we know what Africa is. God damn it. It's the place where the people who left us here live. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I call it. Africa is home of the motherfuckers that didn't come get us. When these devil motherfuckers kidnapped us. That's what Africa is. Just turned a blind eye. Whole bunch of motherfucking niggas talking about fucking y'all turned out now. Because the story did happen. I'm not I'm not saying that. We all have been uh, burst, you know what I'm saying, in different narratives. Mm. But in the end, where the fuck is all these damn slave ships? It was millions and millions and millions of motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. all I, I want to know. Like, where, where, where are these slave ships? Where are these? Or are you too bitter to help your people? Hold on, go back wait, down wait, to that part wait, wait, wait. so I can fucking talk to no, this dumb motherfucker. Why? No, why, look, just stop why right there. It says, Eddie Johns, Corey, you too bitter to help your people. Listen, when you say two, it's the T O O, you dumb fuck. <laughs> You just said, Corey, you too bitter. You too. <laughs> you Corey. stupid piece of shit. Corey spelled So wrong, when you type way, talking shit about people, type correctly, if you will. <laughs> I just had to bust you no, out. No, but they, that, that's one of those ones just trying to get you go. Right. Get you go. No, but I love it. I fuck with people too. I don't care what that motherfucker mm-hmm. got to say. God damn it, he laying up a bitch house on her internet. <laughs> the Titanic is at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Somebody must have said the Pacific Ocean. You ain't been down there. You know what? (laughs) Niggas don't go in deep sea water, goddammit. And you know that that was the second project. That's going to split the room, too, though. What was the second project? uh, Supposedly, that was the second project that he's turned down. Oh, oh yeah, Cube. we're we're talking about yeah, Ice Cube. Cube. Yeah, back to Cube. Yeah, so you got to get these people who stand on something. They 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 credit, man. Yeah. People who stand on something, man. I salute you, man. Brother Ice Cube, I, from what I understand, it was $9 million. He was like, fuck y'all, I ain't doing that shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's, man, that's big shit, man. So he just going to live off of what he's been, uh, his royalties and all that stuff? Or, well, or you know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing when you got a little something to live off of. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You, can make, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Ain't Ice Cube still married to the same woman from back in the day? Mm-hmm. Kim. Mm-hmm. Shit, that means something. When you got your queen with you, you could tell the world, fuck you and all that uh-huh. bullshit. I got what's valuable right here. How about that? Uh-huh. Most of y'all motherfuckers will go for anything because you got a sucker ass bitch around you that don't give a <laughs> fuck about you. That's why you don't give a fuck about nothing. That's why your kids don't give a fuck about nothing. Because your bitch ain't shit. It all starts with your bitch. <laughs> it's stupid. The reason men go for attractive women is because attractive women open doors. Yeah. If you got an attractive woman, goddammit, a cab will stop for y'all. <laughs> That's true. I'm just saying, try to weigh down a cab with an ugly bitch in the wintertime of Chicago. Y'all gonna freeze out there. <laughs> you better hug up on that bad bill bitch. Goddammit. You gotta hug up on her. Right. She warm inside. <laughs> That's why you go after attractive women because they can open doors with you. Yeah. A man ain't got to be attractive. As long as a man can provide, goddammit, he is a true soldier of this country, goddammit. Jay Z ain't never got to worry about nothing. (laughs) Because he got that paper. So we don't give a fuck how he looks. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing that his weird hairstyle, he looks better that way? 
Like if he didn't, if he just had the so clean cut, the clean cut, he the did. clean cut look shows his features too much. The hair <laughs> is distracting you, away. From it it oh, distracts away. Are you serious? <laughs> look, nobody. Look, I'll, maybe one day somebody will archive the fifty one fifty show and say the great Corey Holcomb said this a while ago. You know what I'm saying? When you look like that, you have to have something to distract from the face. The daughter too. Oh, I cannot. Uh-uh. Huh? Don't she look just like him? Nope, not just. He she got resembles strong him. Strong jeans. The brother, the brother got strong jeans. Her ponytail game got to be amazing. <laughs> She can't have her hair pulled back for school <laughs> pictures because the features will show. <laughs> she need a bang. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, okay, I'm, okay, I'm foul. Fuck. It. I'm foul. Everybody can see it. <laughs> Beyonce can't walk barefoot because she will lose her beauty. We've seen her feet. And... <laughs> Got them is plants growing under her motherfucking skin Did on I the top of her toe. She been dancing her ass off. She been doing something, boy. That <laughs> feet go <laughs> out. Her and Oprah be having fucked up I feet know contact. I Oprah's are. I've seen Oprah's, but I I have never paid attention. to Oprah Beyonce. got bunions and onions on Damn. her motherfucking God feet. Darn it. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad they got her head up there. What if people had to walk on headstands? If they had Oprah feet right there, they. They ain't got no weed for feet, do they? Damn. <laughs> we like say can't read either. We Who can't read? read? <laughs> I don't know. It would just be a smooth skin layer. Right. That you so on. I ain't said no names. I'm just saying what it is. I said Jay Z name, but it besides look like Lil John look bad. Uncle. Okay. <laughs> Who feet don't look bad? Beyonce's. What are you talking about? I what is that? I don't see anything. I don't see anything bad about him. Oh, that's that shit been motherfucking air. air what they call that shit? No. Photoshop. Oh, no. Yeah, that shit been photoshopped. Doesn't Boy, they had. I remember when she was on this there. magazine. This was before Jay Z. Uh -huh. You know, when you got Jay Z with you, goddamn it, you get everything fixed. Goddamn it, Jay Z. I give him credit. Beyonce was already they a star, great. but Beyonce became a star amongst. Black males with her songs and how she started singing. Before Jay-Z, it was, if you like it, put a ring yeah. on it, and all that sucker shit. But when she got with Jay-Z, it was riding dick in bathtub. Yeah, right. And all, all of a sudden, she's on the surfboard. Right. Damn it. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> See, I, I give motherfuckers oh. their credit, man. Jay-Z helped her become more appealing to men. Back in the day, women used to sing, not just for the women, used to sing for the men, too. Gladys Knight, yeah, yeah. stay away from it, Mr. Welfare. That ain't no song <laughs> just for women. Can't that I. song is for everybody. Oh, stay away from the welfare motherfucker. I love me some Gladys. Oh, right. my God. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's like, man, listen, man, in this world, when you cut it. on the TV... When you watch the black men talk in these commercials, they always sound like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, these cool. motherfuckers got the Fruit Booty Brigade. It's one thing. It's nigga, gotta be non threatening. What That's the what they're say, looking for. The niggas say, it's golf. We're supposed to keep score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, I wanna yeah. beat his ass. That's the image that they wanna present. <laughs> Too fucking America, man. Right. Then when it's a deep voice black male, it's a joke. Yeah. I yeah. heard your brisket hard. <laughs> I was like, what? Wait, what? what they say? I, I, first time I heard a deep voice on a, on, a, on a black man, it was a joke. I heard John making briskets. That's funny. I was like, God <laughs> damn. They just won't let a nigga talk about something with a deep voice. You know what? Stupid. Well, they got one nigga on there who ain't got a, a high voice, but he robbing people with that colonial pin bullshit. Oh, damn, see? Oh, oh, what is his name? What Give is us that your guy? money at colonial <laughs> pin. <laughs> what is his name? Sign with this pin we about to give you, and we own all your shit. I'm going to have to look at some old ones, because their feet look pretty. What are you looking at? You're looking at feet. Her feet look pretty darn nice to me, so I don't understand. Okay, D, oh, what did my. I say? I told you if you... You gotta look up the old. I remember she was on Rolling Stones cover. Maybe she had a this bad. This is before Jay Z with the knuckles. Right, goddammit. Okay. Like she had look some a little put a little air pump on her under her toenail. <laughs> I'm 
I'll tell you. She got, some little, talk about she that got some little thick nuggets like mine, though. The little nuggets. Uh-uh. You got some thick like toes. Yeah, I got little nuggets. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you like? <laughs> McDonald's or, or Wendy's? Like, what are we talking about? Little tiny, about? little, little Darlene, Polska kielbasa sausages. Darlene, oh, no. Uh, Beyonce <laughs> has a major company producing everything that she puts out. Pictures, mm-hmm. all of that. Yeah, you're but not she could have see, she you're not had gonna see, fixed a long time ago if she was going right, to. Right, but you're not going to see flawed pictures of her now. She's dealing with a conglomerate who gets his money from the Caucasian people, and his name is Jay-Z. You can still probably find <laughs> They're not going to make a mistake with how she's put out there. Yeah, now. hell no. Back in the day. Oh, hell ones, no. Back in the day, I'm talking about the Destiny Child day, <gasps> back when old girl had the oh. horse nose. What's the dark one name? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, uh, Michelle? Name? I don't no. know her name. I know Kelly bitch, Rowland. Kelly, I mean. Kelly. Yeah. Bitch came on wilding out, and she said... The, the the stab we couldn't she curse. She got a nose job, right? We couldn't curse around her. Uh, wow. She I said mean, she's a Christian and she don't I want no cursing. And all, the, the black bitch from the from the group. Right, but I thought it was the other one. The other. Uh, you talking about Michelle? I'm talking about the black bitch you said at first. Kelly Rowland. Kelly, yeah. yeah. But, I but she got she, her nose job though. When I she came on wilding out with us. Hmm. <laughs> She said she's a Christian woman and no don't cussing. want no cursing while she on the show. And we couldn't curse while the funky bitch was on the show. Then the bitch made an album full <laughs> of fuck shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is what I'm telling y'all. I don't care who get mad at me. Oh, I love that song. That, that is one know. of my favorite workout songs. Now Ooh. she got all whole shit out there because uh-huh. whole shit sells. It's hitting if you don't act like a whore, you ain't finna get no money out of here. Good work- Show the monkey, bitch. <laughs> that is Wish a you great would song. Be out here Tell about baby, I'm gonna be your motivation. Even yes. that one was about fucking fast and That's fucking slow and, and telling the man how to fuck. Ain't no bitch got no money out here being respectful except Sade. <laughs> That's the only bitch got some money being respectful. Can somebody tell me where I'm wrong? I'm talking about in the R&B game. You're talking about the current ones, Badu. not older ones. Like Erica Badu. A, not older ones like okay. a, uh, like you were just talking about. What happened? Not older women. You're talking about the current current ones? I'm talking about, let's start with that era where I'm talking about now. Like I said Sade. 90s. He said Erica Badu. Mm-hmm. Erica Badu, you give her respect. She made yeah. some respectable songs. She had a couple of slick ones out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she a party. She's going to she gonna, she gonna throw you some shit in there. Yeah. Yes. She selling her that, vagina juice. That pussy must be magnificent the way motherfuckers is talking about it. Yeah. I mean, the way motherfuckers react to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Carmen was wearing them sucker ass sweaters and shit. <laughs> yeah. No, he wore crocheted pants. Yeah, he, he started find, dressing like can, Andre 3000. Yeah. yeah, you can still see the picture. I remember you saying that he regretted that, but you can still see the photo of him wearing hey, his crocheted pants. Hey, uh-huh. don't be embarrassed, man. Let me tell she you something. got that mother shit in between her wounds. <laughs> right there between her pussy, legs, pussy, right pussy make us do all kind of shit yeah. we know ain't right. <laughs> Right. Motherfuckers done went to war with nations they knew they was gonna murder half the people. Mm. All over some motherfucking pussy. Yeah, Angie Stone, yeah, that's another one. Angie Stone. Uh, I Uh-oh. love her. She's so what, what sweet, do you got, though. Cole? God I mean, damn it. Well, no, I mean, Angie no. Stone, but look, I'm not, not trying to. Woman. I know I motherfuckers even. gonna get mad. I've no. met Angie Stone. <laughs> she came and, on our show. That's right. Angie Stone is a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. But Uh-oh. there are some mm-hmm. women who absolutely can't be talking shit. Yeah, right. Your looks determine how much shit you can talk. When I saw Angie Stone, I was I, I thought she would be a nice person because of how she looked. Yeah, yeah, she did look like yeah. You know what I'm saying? She looked like the, the mama. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Who's gonna take care of the family? <laughs> God damn it. That's what she made. Black brother. Yeah, yeah. Strong brother. We heard Jill Scott from the side. Jill Uh-oh. Scott pussy Jill Scott in the game. Is- <laughs> that bitch fall in love every year with a new motherfucker. Jill Scott she, is sucking on microphones. She a fly, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, she is fly. Yeah. She doing what she, she fly. Do. She can say hey or something. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I know that pussy belong to the game. Can we, <laughs> not, can we not take away her talent? Lee, she is great. Mm-hmm. Stand out talent. But you can get that pussy if you buy a front row ticket. All yeah. you got to do is come oh, here. You, <laughs> you want to fuck my fat pussy? <laughs> nationwide no, I swear to God, pussy is here. <laughs> that pussy nationwide, nigga. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, shit. Yes, she did. Who said that? Thank What'd you. What'd they say? They said she got D'Angelo back when he was in that, you know, his hot days. And she was so kind. She fucked with a dope fiend. D'Angelo oh, was a dope oh, fiend. Oh, damn. That nigga got naked as Charlie Yellow when he was in shape. If that nigga get naked now, they gonna put him in jail with R. Kelly. Oh, you get this. That nigga be like, how does it? Lock his, lock his fat ass up. <laughs> That, this is how they do with people. It's how you look what you can get away oh, with. Shit. Lizzo came to the Lakers game dressed like a hoe like the rest of them hoes. But this bitch ain't built to show us shit. Yeah. Mm. How dare you have us look at all that nasty <laughs> flabber ass shit. <laughs> you can't dress sexy and you a fat bitch. I would tell my daughter that. <laughs> the fuck you out here like you motherfucking doing the world a favor with that pussy ass outfit on <laughs> bitch you need a nation of Islam outfit on if you over oh. a certain weight you need to find Allah bitch your, <laughs> your body built for the heavens not built for, not, not built not for the built rest for the of us some people got fat bitch fetishes but I'm just saying oh my god it ain't for everybody it ain't for most most people want a girl that's decent she could buy a dress at the store on the rack. To each his own, though. You're right, to each his no, own. No, I'm saying some people like yeah. fat bitches. My homeboy, uh, remember Speedy? Speedy like fat bitches? Yeah. Oh, I Speedy from Speedy a, Comedy Corner? I thought it was a Speedy a made a calendar of fat bitches, and we <laughs> almost died laughing. Because he had one fat bitch on her knees holding her waist. Oh. Nigga. Ah. And she was that upper body fat, too. It was that... <laughs> It was that Tasmanian devil fat, oh, too. Damn. I was like, nigga, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Who is this fat bitch? That's nigga? terrible. Oh, Speedy, my God. you was bogus for that but, calendar. No, he, he but I he can't did believe it. He, he made it. He, he liked that. He, he do that. like it. Yeah, he does. One day, me and Speedy was in, we had these two bitches out in Lancaster. And Speedy, we, was, we had one room with two beds. All right. uh oh, it's going Here down. We go. Here it is. And I wasn't proud of the bitch I was with. She wasn't shit. She looked like a bitch from Lancaster. I'm sorry, people from Lancaster. Oh, don't, don't <laughs> it ain't but that. 12. Y'all know there's a bunch of desert rats in Lancaster. Right, it ain't Get but the 12, 13 bad bitches in Lancaster. Yeah. The rest of the bitches out there. And they because, all been ran through. Right. They got to get motherfuckers in the middle of the desert to want them. They <laughs> yeah. was like, I'm going to the middle of the desert and get chose. But anyway. <laughs> oh. I was with a bitch I wasn't proud of. But Speedy. <laughs> Was with this obese, <laughs> Caucasian, oh boy, fat bitch. Uh oh. And I don't care what anybody say. If you fucking a bitch in one bed, and your homie over there fucking a bitch in another bed, you gonna look. Oh, you. <laughs> you are going to look. I looked. Uh, oh, God. Did you watch that? And he was eating. Oh, uh, good. Speedy was eating the yeah. fat bitch out. God. And his head was missing. Oh. <laughs> we oh. don't know how big Speedy head is. Oh. That bitch stopped. Oh. <laughs> that bitch stopped. Oh, it no. looked like the, I said, Speedy, <laughs> where your head at, nigga? No. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my funnest nights in Lancaster. I bet it was. We, we, we were sleepy. We stayed out there too late. And I, I don't know how them people drive from Lancaster to LA. That's scary. Well, that's why work every day because accidents. that traffic was that's that's like a three hour ride. That's, yeah, that's when terrible. you call them the traffic, but yeah. Speedy, I ain't trying to put you on blast. <laughs> this happened a long time ago, at uh, least eighteen he said, years. Where's your head but, at? That bitch thigh took up your, all I saw was this part on down from you. Uh, your, your shoulders was missing with that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want nobody to videotape you. This was before cameras on phone. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Boy, if I, boy, if they had cameras on phone back then, I'd have stopped fucking that, that rat bitch I was with. Now, I know my bitch wasn't shit either. The bitch wasn't shit. I can tell. I remember. I, I don't. I can't even tell you how all the fucked up shit about her. But she was a straight rat bitch who I could tell she had been walking around in them shorts with no panties all day. Because mm. when she took her pants down, it had that real all day salty smell to yeah. it. Oh, but it's lid cast. They been walking what? around too much. Make a bitch take a bath. I ain't finna be here long. It's Lancaster, nigga. <laughs> Who gives a fuck what the bitch smell like in Lancaster? <laughs> I made her keep her flip-flops on, and I smelled her feet through the flip-flops. Damn. 
And Lancaster is all kind of dirt. I'm not bragging like I was with a bad bitch, but that big bitch you was with, Speedy, made your head disappear, nigga. Bless his heart. Somebody say the room smell like Little Caesar's crazy bread. Stupid. Oh. <laughs> this nigga's stupid on this chat room. Come up with the craziest things. <laughs> yes. Ugh. Nigga. Ugh. <laughs> but yeah, somebody tell Lizzo you can't dress sexy because of how you built. If you dress sexy, people are going to ridicule you. You have to get in the gym yeah, if you want to dress balls. sexy and not get ridiculed. And that's the the, the that's the world. Well, it's not Corey's rules. No, but at first she was kind of down like that. Remember when she was doing that whole body Who positivity? Was down? She was down like that whole body positivity type of thing. Like I don't care. I'm gonna do me. And then it. And then it flipped. I think it was just too much. She got ridiculed too tough. Monique, yeah. and it Monique got to used to do a whole act about being a fat bitch and talk about the skinny mm -hmm. bitches. But that diabetes changed all that shit up. That's why motherfuckers lose weight later in life because if you stay big and once the 30s gone, you start getting sick quicker. Oof. That's why motherfuckers lose weight when they get older because they be at the doctor and the doctor be like, motherfucker, look, you about to check out this bitch. Goddamn. I tell you, yep, all them tests come goddamn, back. Yeah. We can, we can oh, cook chitlins and your blood is so hot, goddamn. Mm. Damn. Your blood full of Burger King juice, bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. when you get a certain age and you still got that weight on you, you gonna drop. Huh. If you want to, if you want to, right. yeah, you can, you're gonna have to get disciplined. Yeah. Once you once you start getting in the forties, that's when your body really start getting sick all the time. I'm telling you this from testimony. Nigga, at one time I made, I was about two ninety, and I look at them old pictures. I was like, damn, I wasn't chubby then. I was an obese nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was a fat motherfucker. I still used to be out there playing ball though with my fat ass because I was young. <laughs> But when you get older with that weight on you, mm. the body starts to literally go to shit. So once you get older, you see people like Monique, who lost weight, my friend Lavelle Crawford, who lost weight. Lavelle ain't big as he used to be. No. Not no. Lavelle, no. I'm, I yeah, know I'm Lavelle was at that doctor. Lavelle yeah. has a young son, and I know he want to yeah, be, be there for his son. He talks you know about all the time, that yeah. shit is motivates you to lose weight. Now, I was at the airport, and I saw that whole ass nigga Ari Spears this week. Again? Heck, you did? I saw him again. I run yeah. when I see him. Because I <laughs> don't want go. him to yell and be like, get away from me! To get us both kicked out the airport. <laughs> Stay ass nigga. How'd you run, bro? This whole ass nigga neck is uh -oh. bigger than any neck at the airport. That, as soon as I saw the back of his head, I said, did that nigga go? That nigga was in uh, Jersey Mike's line before they oh, opened. Stop. Oh, man, I that's right where the... That's right a where, the, uh, where the gate be at. Yeah, open the through. motherfucker. <laughs> I need a, I need a, <laughs> I need a two footer before I get on this flight. <laughs> no meat all bread. All the, bread. the people in the back of Jersey Mike's were trying to clean the water. <laughs> that nigga was ready to fight everybody in the airport for that sub. <laughs> Fat neck ass nigga. Oh, he didn't see me. I started the videotaping, but I, I oh, ain't never oh. did that shit. Did you jog, how, how'd you run away? Did you jog off? Did you Once power I saw walk? that neck, I said, walk. that's that nigga right there. Uh, uh, uh. Did you power walk? I walked away to the side. <laughs> Somebody said, Corey, scared. Hell yeah, I'm scared. When yeah, I saw the, I tell you, I'm that saying airport. again, when yeah, I saw the nigga yeah, in the airport, yeah, yeah. that one time, I hadn't seen him since the shit happened. I saw the nigga in the airport, I was like, hey man, why you do that whole ass shit? Hey man, yeah. fuck you, get away from me. I was like, oh shit, we both about to miss our flight. I see yeah. what you're doing, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. you win. Yeah. I ain't finna fuck my money up arguing right. with a nigga in the oh, airport. God. Lisa yeah. Lee, that's funny shit, I love Jersey Mike, hell yeah. J Jersey Mike the shit, god damn it, yeah, but yeah. sometimes, see Jersey Mike, oh, Open LAX Delta at six fifteen. Yep. Some people flight leave at six thirty, and they get try that it. Sandwich. Mm -hmm. That nigga was pissing a bitch. <laughs> hey man, can y'all make mine now? <laughs> I said, Look at this whole ass hungry ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I don't know if somebody saw him besides me, but please back me up. Oh my God. That nigga was, was picking, that? that nigga was ready for that place to open so he can get on that flight. What? That what? nigga got them two subs and ran on that plane. Oh. <laughs> Needing that shit, man. Them, anyway, them, them early AM hours. I'm putting the shit out there. Oh. I don't give a fuck, nigga. They can't whoop me. 
Not in, the, not in the airport, huh? No, I'm just saying, like, if I ever saw Aries outside the airport, I'd mm. be like, aha! <laughs> now you can yell all you want I to. I did, but I saw him riding a bike. I told you. Aries ain't no little dude either. It's yeah. just, I'm telling you, man, I could tell he has never worked out. I, saw him, I, I tell you, I've been, I saw him riding a bike. He is the dude. softest man I ever grabbed. Damn. When him and Zoe had that fight, I, I touched this nigga. I said, dog, this nigga is mushy. the gooeyest nigga. He was mushy. Did you fall God. in? What? <laughs> Did you fall in in the hood? Nigga? Boy, this nigga was so soft, my dick got hard. I swear to God. This was the gooeyest nigga. Oh, this, this nigga, nigga had real chest titties. Damn New Jack City. I call them chest titties when niggas get... <laughs> They're just mushy. He, you can like, tell he never has lifted a weight. You can tell. Like I was like, nigga, how the fuck is you that soft, nigga? Damn. With your mouth. You god damn. Mm. This nigga's <laughs> a weirdo. I said it. Fuck it. Come beat me up, Aries. I don't want no problems. I'm going to run. <laughs> in the airport. If we in the airport, I'm going to run from you, dog. I can't oh. miss my flight, nigga. Oh. I was on the plane coming here next to some little rapper, nigga. I know he was famous. Because everything he had on was at least $1,000. I'm not yeah. talking about $1,000 all together. This was a Each little... piece, right. Like a I was shirt like, oh, this nigga got it, some whatever. paper. This is a little rapper nigga. His whole face was tatted up, neck, everything. Huh. I just didn't know who he was. I didn't ask who he was because I was worried about this little nigga. This is my first... I ain't going to lie. I did it. And if you get mad at me, fuck you. I put my wallet under my motherfucking pants like this. Because I knew I was going to go to sleep. You thought the, the, the rapper would go Even though he you? had money, he had that that bogus energy. Oh, okay, oh. okay, yeah, like yeah. He, just, when, oh, so I, he, I, he might not even been a rapper. He might have been a fucking scammer, no. but trying to live the no, rapper this, life. No, there's a lot His of swag let me know he was famous. Yeah, oh, okay. You know how you feel it? Well, he like, probably wasn't gonna he, he was bogus. He had his McDonald's shit all in my seat. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> wait a minute. I had to wave my seat off with that little thing they gave yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was looking like, and he was, he was high and he kept falling asleep, leaning toward me. I was like, damn, if he touched me, I ain't gonna even say nothing. Cause it's just a long flight. Yeah. Uh, from Cincinnati to motherfucking uh, LA. I'm not talking shit about him, but he was he was just a bad, his atmosphere around him yeah. was bad. I wish I'd have asked who he was. Cause he was with other people, it's just they was in the back of the place. You didn't recognize right. the uh I'm, also a, I'm an old head now. I don't know all the new rappers, goddammit, but this nigga was somebody. I was like, this nigga got on about six thousand miles worth of shit. If you huh. saw his face, would you be able to know? Like tell like yeah, that was him? I'd be able he to. He had I'd distinctive. Be, he had woke up and his phone was dead. He was like, bro, bro. Oh. You you got you got juice? I was like, <laughs> oh, I ain't got no phone juice. This motherfucker asked this white man. The white man was scared. I was laughing. He said, hey, hey you got juice? White man gave his coat. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked his Oh my God. I want to know who he was. If I saw his face, I would know what who he is. Chain Please say take there, this from me, Negro. I didn't see uh, no chain. All I know is this little nigga had on um Louis. Um, he, I know, well, I know. He was sitting in first class. I know what these clothes are the because I be looking at them clothes. I can't fit them. <laughs> yeah, I can't fit all that Louis shit. They got some Louis shit to fit me though. I done bought some Louis mm -hmm. shit before. I got a jacket mm -hmm. at home. I, I want to sell it. I paid four thousand dollars for the jacket, and it ain't shit. It's like some mesh material. Huh. They got like, you. God damn. When I be looking at it now, I be like, I wonder what I could get for that motherfucker. <laughs> but some motherfucker had it on at the Grammys one day. Mm. So it ain't no shit that, if motherfuckers who are into that shit, they might give me something for it. You can give me whatever you want. I'm going to have a sale getting rid of all my shit I done bought on the yes. sucker side of the game. <laughs> oh, actually, by the way, that you just bring I done fuck up. some money off on retail. I ain't even going to lie. Yes, nah. he always, I, I'm actually going to post up some of the items from the old studios. What's so. the old studios? Um, the original chairs, the gamer chairs that we had. Do you be saying you're going to do that shit? You don't never do it. I haven't done it yet, but I just got all the pictures. I got all the pictures. I got all the information. I'm going to post them up, y'all. Somebody week. say Kendrick Lamar. It ain't Kendrick Lamar. I no. know Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, <laughs> Kendrick Lamar him. put me in his video. Yeah, it's one Respect of the younger bro. trap ones. Right. Right. No, that ain't him. Who is that? That's Roddy Rich. Oh, no, that ain't him. Mm. Okay. Mm -mm. No, this nigga, I, I would know the face if you showed it to me. He, he was in first class. No, that ain't He's going to go back. through rappers. It's a, it's a, yeah, thin, why not? It's a thin build, dude. Yeah. Was it 21 Savage? Neck tatted up. Yeah. Well, I would know 21 Savage. Yeah. Did he have okay. colored hair? I don't think so. Okay, well, darn. That would have narrowed it. All down. I know is he got on the plane in Cincinnati. 
So does that mean it's famous rappers? Are there any famous rappers? From he could have had a show. Mm-hmm. No, but I be seeing motherfuckers getting on them play, and I know he originated in Cincinnati because I saw them. Who is that? Blueface. I don't know if that's him. It's starting to look more like him, but I don't know. They I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's him. I don't think that's him. But I would know him because when he looked in my face when he first woke up, he was like, "Bro, bro, you got juice." <laughs> I don't got no juice. <laughs> Not bro, bro. Our God, no, you know, our you know, God. you know how the young, oh the young brothers talk, bro, bro, bro is the new shit. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or they be like, hey, bro, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my phone is dead on God. God. I ain't got nothing on against God. the little brother. It's just he was. I could tell he ain't had no sense of atmosphere. Yeah, because he was all in my seat, and I had to wipe the. That uh, McDonald's salt from the fries. And we usually, oh. we usually don't even get, you know, you usually try to like walk to your damn seat without getting one of them packets. But your ass needed that one. That's Why did I right. hide my wallet even though I knew he had money, though? Ain't that some he must have felt some goddamn state. thievery was, energy, was, man. That's what I'm saying. I know niggas who got money and still pull it. Yeah. <laughs> I just see seen so much. Can. I just seen so much scandalous shit in this world. I, I ain't, I'm gonna just say this story. I said this story before. I was at the movie theater with this one motherfucker. Oh, wild ass. The nigga is huge, too. So don't nobody ever want to fight him. He a big ass nigga. That's why he get away with all this shit. Uh-huh. It was a couple sitting next to him, man. This nigga put his hand in they popcorn and started oh. eating Wait, it. What? And the girl looked at her boyfriend like, he just put his hand in the popcorn. But because he's so big, that nigga was like, man, fuck that nigga. Oh. <laughs> he should have just gave him the bucket. Oh, my Look, God. This shit really, everybody be talking shit about what they'll do if it happened. But some of these niggas is so big out here. Yeah, they be testing uh. these. This nigga a big nigga, dog. And he know it. He a big silly motherfucker, though. <laughs> like, why you do that to them people, man? The fuck, man? You gonna get shot one day? <laughs> yeah, right. And they don't fight motherfuckers like that, boy. Oh yeah, you you get away with it for so long, yeah, dog. Yeah. Then you run across that one motherfucker uh, who's with that shit. And that's the motherfucker you don't want to run across. Oh my god! You showing funny. pictures of what you showing? Yeah, where you get know. your rappers from? Right? <laughs> where you got a roll of rappers over here? That's the noodle. Where you get your rappers, rappers, over here, <laughs> no, you. rappers from? Hey man, listen. I I, <laughs> I would know. I would know the little brother if I looked so, right at him because when he had just woke up and he was he needed juice for his phone, <laughs> which I can imagine because when you land in LA, yeah, you I think what it. happened. He yeah. fell asleep with his phone playing or something like that without it being charged up. Because you know these LA flights is four hours. From Cincinnati to LA, it was a little over four hours, nigga. Yeah, I <laughs> fell asleep to... on my fucking sports center, goddamn. <laughs> this this was this EDD come up. What's an EDD? That was from his EDD come up. That oh. you know when they get that from when during a COVID when they were giving money to folks. Hey, do the what? Do any of the gas station Viagra work? Any of that shit really work? Oh, I I, I've oh. had the Rhino one before. I've I used forgot the to Rhino. bring that bag in. No, Remember the, that? We didn't, the Libby, we something didn't get like to that. it last week. That guy that sent you that stuff from um, from Vegas. It's in the car? I think so. I ain't gonna lie, I fucked the, the dog shit out of the bitch in Somebody didn't try yeah, it. Yeah, sorry, guys. Oh, he yeah, that, that honey shit or whatever, huh? Yeah, he sent it to us, and he said that, the, yeah. I didn't try it yet. You didn't this, try it, and you didn't talk about it. Yeah, I got the big You got more? No, he sent that big envelope. You never took it. I I took it from here. So you got some dick help shit in the car? <laughs> it's, there's some powder stuff in there for women as well, but I didn't use it. You must get ready to smash a stranger. What, what do the powder stuff do for women? I don't know. I've got to look at it. He sent a <laughs> they letter. They got pussy powder? Yeah, you would think powder no. wouldn't go great powder with a vagina. Powder is the worst thing to put yeah, on a right. pussy. <laughs> would it make your pussy snap like right. them pop rocks? No, to, to put in your water, silly. Oh, okay. No, you God. drink the powder yes. and it help your pussy. What it help your pussy do? I don't think it helps that. It helps arousal. <laughs> So it helps you get right. excited. They got some ecstasy in powder form. Yeah, but it's something like that by what I read on it. Yes, I don't know. He sent the letter about it. But I'll have they to get that They need some stuff. shit like that Molly. for men when you're Molly. trying to fuck your wife Molly. you've been with for Molly. years. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to fuck your wife, boy. Especially after y'all argued about some sucker shit. Mm. And she tried to make up by rubbing you. You be like, yeah, bitch, look. I don't even want to fuck you, bitch. Right, I want to call my other bitch over here. I don't feel like driving. <laughs> but he sent it. We'll have to get to it. But we had it last week. We just get, didn't get around I'm to tired it. tired of driving to the other bitch house stressed out. Then you got to talk about your wife in front of her. No, this bitch. I mean, it's my wife, but this bitch here. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> my God. It's that fucked up. It you is. talk about your wife to another bitch. Oh, <laughs> God. Because you stressed and you had to drive over there. <laughs> God. 
girl go to sleep after motherfucking arguing with you in that house coat and you don't want that pussy because you didn't seen it and how it look when they go to the bathroom and don't, well, I ain't gonna, well, I ain't gonna say her name. I was on FaceTime with a girl who shit it and got up and motherfucking wiped her ass and put her, pat- put her panties back on. Is that normal? Ain't you supposed to shower after you shit? Uh, well, entire, not every damn yeah, time. Yeah, an entire shower. Oh, see, he has. You say not every time. No, he yeah. spoke on this before. He actually needs to take a Nigga, shower. Nigga, you put your after, finger in your goddamn. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you extracted place? some shit out of your ass. Don't go goddamn I scoot over I clean my ass like that yeah. sometimes. It's no shame to it. Yeah, you gave yourself an enema. Right. But I'm I, just saying. So you're telling me that you done came from a fucking airport and you went to the shower straight after you shit it when you had one of them airport shits. No, when I have an airport shit precise, uh-huh. I always... Let's go there, Corey. I always steal a towel from the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> so I always have a towel on deck so I can take a wash up in the sink with a, with a mother's purse to nurse the child. Damn. I always you find that right one. right there on the little baby table? I be naked in that motherfucker. <laughs> Cleaning my you got, ass. you got your cheeks out, man, with the goddamn hotel. I don't give a, a fuck. This is my ass. <laughs> Ain't no telling where I'm going after I get off the plane. Oh, Jesus. my God. I don't want no boy. shitty ass while I'm going to see people. I just landed in their city and it's shit in my ass. Oh, no. My God. I and I always leave a towel in the bathroom. Damn. Oh, nice Remind treat me not for to the go behind person. your ass. Yeah. Some of that, some of that hand soap will make your ass itch, though. I ain't even gonna lie. I gotta start stealing motherfucking quality soap at the hotel. Keep a little bottle with you or something. Yeah. My God. Oh my Shit God. wipe soap. Yeah. Somebody need to come up with that. Well, they do have the little wet wipes, like Cottonelle and different companies that the different brands that have the. Well, if you try to clean your ass with a wet wipe, you are gonna get shit in your fingernail. Well, didn't you wipe? It's them? gonna rip. Didn't you need you? a rag to wipe your ass correctly. <laughs> You've already told us way too much. So now we know how you crap, and you do some hella craps. Everybody take hella craps. Yeah, but All crap is hella fine. Right, but when you wipe But a hotel a, towel is pretty fucking big, The only bro. shit that don't after stink is a baby it. that's a week old. But after that baby been in the world <laughs> for a week me. and got that Gerber in him, his shit stank too. Oh my God. He fold that baby. When a baby towel. is born, all that shit <laughs> new inside. So when it come right out, that first pamper don't stink. If your baby pamper stink that first week, your baby got sugar, bitch. <laughs> if you don't got the black shit. <laughs> <laughs> your ba- shit ain't black. <laughs> if your baby less than a week old and his shit stink, that baby's sick. That's a diabetic baby. <laughs> That's the baby speedy head with the white bitch in the Damn, desert. Damn, oh, no. man. He was burying his head. No. <laughs> ah, oh, Thank somebody gave us. Hold on, see wow. what he talk about. Nike Cool Runnings. Oh, Nike like Cool Runnings. Oh. Talk about my jogger oh. suit. Fuck y'all. This jogger <laughs> suit. This nice, dog. That them. <laughs> they say you got on Eddie Long's jacket. <laughs> I can't. Um... There you go. Je- what is that? Janie keep saying that real shit. Janie, yeah, Janie. How she look? She look good in that picture. J A N E E. Cap capital J. What's up, babe? Say, come holler at a nigga. I don't even check. There go another nigga. Man, niggas, niggas is blessing us tonight. Oh, big that's homie. nice. What is that, big homie? We need you to come to Montgomery, Alabama. Three, three, four. Steaming, damn. beaming. I, I mainly play that um, Star Dome in Alabama, man. God damn, I ain't been to Alabama. I mean, Montgomery in so long, but damn. that's where my kin folks from. Nah. I'm an Alabama boy. My mama and daddy from Alabama. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Southern boy too. When I go I out there, that. I go to the um, the, the grave site where my pops at. In, um, in, um what is it called? Gordonsville, close to Selma. Damn. When you go, when you go, when you get in Alabama, is you 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 can really find out how people used to live a little bit because they got the little towns. Yeah, yeah. Where little, people little, still uh, wave at you. They call them shotgun. Uh, Real shit. Shotgun they don't know you, they be like, hey, how yeah. you doing? You know yeah. what I'm saying? When I go out there. To the church out there in the middle of nowhere. I ain't gonna say the church because niggas gonna find that motherfucker. <laughs> but I be out there, I be out there in Alabama, man. Shit. Alabama they country than a motherfucker. Like that. Oh. that uh what's the name of that restaurant out there? There's um that used to be good. Now nah, it ain't shit. The, the sign is brown. Uh oh. They got it's a, it's a, it, they serve pancakes, breakfast food, Waffle and House. not Waffle House, it's another mm-hmm. one out there. I can't think of the name of that. Damn, it's a breakfast spot where they sell, they got rocking chairs and they sell a lot of candy and shit when you first walk in. 
<laughs> is it a, I know is it a chain? Said that. It's a chain. Dothan? Is it Dothan? Oh. Cracker Barrel, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a fat nigga knew what it was. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, but Phil, you ain't fat. You, know you look what? good, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Cracker Barrel. He jumped up right. <laughs> right. Fuck Waffle House. Waffle House be closed now. Yeah, they don't Waffle House used to be 24 hours. No matter what, you can just drive to that motherfucker and eat some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Now them motherfuckers be like, even if they open, they be like, well, we'll make it. You can't eat in here and you got to tip me. <laughs> all, all the 24-hour <laughs> joints yeah. like switch tea. things up. You're right. right. Last time I went to a Waffle House, this um, gang-banging ass gay nigga. Uh, <laughs> I was in Memphis. That motherfucker said, you got to tip me. And I tipped him and he made my pancakes and shit and all that shit. I was embarrassed. I ate it. Uh, you always, man. What? You're always attracting some weird motherfuckers at these it's Waffle Houses, It's all weird man. motherfuckers who work at Waffle <laughs> House. What regular person you see work at Waffle House? I'll give you that one. Oh, the, 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 they out there, too. And yeah. on top of that, at the Waffle House, the only niggas that look regular is the niggas who just got out, who got the grill job. Man, They be bro. in the back, they be quiet and shit. Then the dyke-ass waitress, I need a... Uh, <laughs> With a five o'clock shadow. Oh. <laughs> he said you gotta look at niggas and say stop playing shit oh, fuck oh. that shit dog. Right. let me tell you something I talk to niggas niggas can get away with shit when they say something to me cause I know I'm finna be gone in 5 or 10 minutes the only motherfuckers <laughs> who like if a motherfucker is aggressive yeah. then I might be like okay well we about to engage but most niggas I wanna tell everybody out there in the world if you talk slick to me you might get away with it cause I know what happened if I get into any altercation Niggas act tough. Then when you get into it with them, they sue. That's the yeah. truth. That's yeah. the truth. They know anybody who, do that who know how this game right. go. If you get into a fight with anybody and they think you got something. They're going to see. It's the oldest trick in the book. If you ain't got anything, nothing to lose. That's what that's where that that's where that saying comes from. They got nothing to lose. I know you know D got them motherfucker tried to sue Ice T, didn't Many what do you mean? I know they tried to get into it. You get into it. Phil said real as shit. He it was a famous motherfucker with one of his homeboys. His homeboys stole on the motherfucker and they sued the famous motherfucker. That's what happened, see? This is the game, nigga. You, I can't argue with nobody in real life, goddammit. A motherfucker say, Corey, fuck you pussy ass nigga. I'm going to be like, okay, nigga. <laughs> Keep on moving, goddammit. I don't want it. I know how it go. We got my man. He going to be part of the show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, that's Bobby's, Bobby's younger brother. You good, G. No, that's Bobby's Paul younger brother. Paul got a little lit. Paul got a little lit, y'all. They said that's Bobby. Oh, that's we got Bobby Glenn time, younger yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nigga, what's love? You know on, I fuck should. with you. Oh, All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> part of the show that we eventually have to get to. Oh, no. We ain't proud of it. Fuck. Never been sponsored. This is some bullshit. You ain't ever sponsored. What are you talking about? I had a sponsor one time on the show, didn't we? <laughs> Here we go. I get sponsored by Mad Mall CMOS. That's your shit, nigga. <laughs> it's not my company. I get sponsored by it, motherfucker. Like, no, yeah. they, no, you don't. That's your shit, nigga. I wish I had a whole What's warehouse the name shit. But that's what Marcelino I'm Brown, shout out to you, brother. Stay mad. Get dig. All right, Marcelino. Dang Keep it, making that seat most goddamn. Okay, I hope this lasts. It's not ready. What happened? You're still fucking up, No, dude? it's okay. So what just, is that? Is that an iPad? Right. Yeah, it's a little mini one. Uh, so you got an eye surface or something. Apple ain't got nothing to do with that. Yes, it is. <laughs> It's a mini. What is that? It's an iPad mini. He said mini. Apple ain't got nothing to do with it. It's an iPad He mini. got a bootleg iPad right, in this motherfucker. Know? It made that motherfucker. She got an orange. No, it's an iPad mini. <laughs> Somebody put some real Christmas lights in an etch sketch and told D she got an iPad. It's a mini. Her Apple logo I got a pair on it. I don't need a big one. I got my laptop for that. I don't need a big. That's the purpose of getting that, silly. Ladies and gentlemen. These loose talk about bullshit. Uh, I hope my phone lasts. You got you got juice. <laughs> you got juice. I hey, need bro, to plug bro. it up. Bro, bro, you got ju juice. No, I do have one of those those little portable ones though in my bag, but I'm gonna wait. Um, okay, let's get to things. Thank you, Cor Oh, I thought you were handing me my battery. <laughs> I thought I was handing it to me, <laughs> bastard. You want to get back? Uh, so congratulations to Jay-Z and many others. This weekend was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame um, inductee concert and ceremony. And he was, you know, everybody, everybody has somebody that comes out and does the, um, the inductee, you know, presentation or whatever. And his guy was Dave Chappelle. So Dave Chappelle 
came out and uh, presented him with the award. And it was really cute. You'd have to see it. It's going to air later this month if you look it up. Uh, I unfortunately didn't write the date down, but it's, I think, in two more weeks. But anyway, they're going to do some major advertising for it. But the stuff that they do have <laughs> online that people took with their phones in there is really good. So apparently they have some really good stuff on there. All these people, they do, they do a medley of some of his raps. And it's like all these famous stars and stuff. And it's kind of funny because you'll see like certain people come on and say like a little bit of a rap of his. And it's pretty hilarious. But anyway, congratulations. Is Jay-Z Jay wearing a, a weave? Is that a lace run? I don't know what it is. Maybe but he's it, had maybe, his hair like that for... Maybe his hair grew out like that. Uh, I don't know. Some people... It just came out of nowhere. They oh, hair man. be different. Like he's you, had it like that for a minute, no? Yeah. Good luck with... I, I mean, hey, brother, it's hard for me to congratulate him because I never forgot that NFL shit. It, it yeah, really, right. That it pissed me off when he was cool like, what, what, are we marching anymore? Yeah, right. <laughs> Like we post to you, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> you sitting there next to motherfucking uh, what's that NFL commissioner name? Uh, that racist Goodell. Goodell. Uh, Roger Goodell, bitch. Sitting there holding his dick, nigga. You yeah. you lost me right there, nigga. Yeah. And since he did that, I'd be like, God damn it. <laughs> uh, he well, showed you his true colors. Well, the good thing that did come out of that is that he, in his speech, he gave big ups to Dame Dash. So everybody was talking about that. That made the headlines to the next day. So, what did he say? I know I'm trying to look. I for guess it. we gotta wait for that to see that part. But uh, apparently, it was so good that Dame Dash um, said that he's down for, you know, some open dialogue. Reconciliation. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's a good thing. That Dame, came Dame Dash is a businessman. Hell yeah, yeah. he's mm -hmm. open for dialogue. I could see him meeting up with that motherfucker. All right, nigga. My yeah. ass, nigga, you got yeah. that Apple money and yeah. shit now. Yeah. Fuck right. with me, nigga. Oh my I was there when the shit was this. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, you had to go sell out to do that shit. Okay, you got the bag now. Yeah. What's up? That's what yeah. type of conversation I have with a motherfucker who I used to fuck with. So let's see what unfolds from that. So that was a good thing that came, came about from that. Um, unfortunate, unfortunate news for someone, well, from, for Fetty Wap over the weekend. Oh, yeah. You know, they yeah. had that big Rolling Loud concert that's been touring the whole country. And he was arrested before he could even go on stage. So um, it's been an ongoing. What, what was he arrested for? It's been an ongoing investigation. This is pretty dang serious. Um, the feds have been following this. Invest they've been investigating him for a very long time. Many people were arrested, not just at the concert, but in this ca huge case that they've been following. So he's been, he was arrested allegedly for running and being involved with a major Opioid, heroin, fentanyl, and cocaine distribution ring. And yeah. the feds said, when somebody asked, well, how serious was it? He, the feds said that he was allegedly selling at kilogram level, which is pretty big. It's a lot of stuff. So, um, yeah, kilos. Yeah, so he's being held right now without bail. And also a New Jersey correctional officer was also arrested in this ring and about eight others. Um, but the feds were saying, like, this is how serious the drug game has upped in the recent years that you eat to even have a you know a, a, a known rapper being involved like that allegedly and officers and stuff like that like big time so he's he's he got arrested they say he ran up on his uh the uh, the feds ran up on his fucking tour bus while they're performing jesus so yeah so yeah. he's no well, no bail and they just really quick so they say that if convicted the, the, the least amount of time you can get for what they found, because they found guns and things like that in the homes and buses where he was at, is two years. That's the least, and the most is 20. Why do, they, so. why do they always say they found guns? You can buy a gun. Yeah, but in certain states, it's in, in New York, it is zero. You yeah. can't, oh, he got caught in New York? Yeah, yeah Queens. I don't know so. why people would live in fucking New York, and it's against the law to have a fucking gun. Zero. You can't have nothing. You can't have yeah. a gun in New York. Is that, is that right? Yep. I'm talking about yep. New York, New York, the city. Like, yeah. you, you're not supposed to have a gun. How the fuck do you expect people to survive <laughs> without, in that city, when yeah. it's against the law to protect yeah. yourself and bear arms? Yeah. And yes, Alpo was killed as well. Who was Alpo? Another, it's another story, but I wasn't going to cover that one. Oh, that's another small. rapper? Yeah. Well, well, I'm just saying, no, it's like, I don't know what that. happened exactly. with the brother Fetty Wap. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what happened, but I want to say this. All of the charges that the Caucasian man puts on brothers, I don't never listen to that as word is bond type shit. Yeah. Because 
No, I am not. Me. I am not blind. I know R. Kelly was a fuck up, but the shit they put on him was trumped up shit. Mm. So I don't know what they did to Brother Fetty Wap or any black man who goes through the system. I can't respect y'all charges y'all put on people. So whatever y'all put out there in the state, yeah. fuck y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what really happened. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just saying, I don't know what the fuck they, what, what they caught my man doing and shit. Sometimes where there's smoke, there's fire a lot of times. But I'm just saying, I don't never listen See, to them charges that they say. Yeah. What happened? Someone was just saying that it, it, if you get caught with a, a weapon in New York, it's three years automatic. Somebody say he grew up in New York and you can't have nunchucks either. Damn. Oh, none of that. They're pretty serious about all that. And How the fuck can you live somewhere where you absolutely can't have nothing to protect yourself? And that when one of the craziest, wildest things <laughs> too. And do you know why they why they do that? Depopulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no, it ain't just depopulation. That's deep, precise. Mm -hmm. But they write the law so they can just pick you up and launch an investigation. Yeah. They would rather you die and we'll figure it out later. You mm -hmm. can't have a gun. How the fuck, man, listen. Can't have any weapons, really. I, man, I was talking to my homeboy today, comedian Jeff B. Jeff B's son, Jeff B's son was gunned down Damn, when they bro. got off work. Um, the young boys coming mm. from the fast food restaurant. I mean, they work at the fast food restaurant. Damn. They got gunned down in Chicago. Condolences, bro. Yeah, standing bro. in front of their motherfucking apartment. I mean, standing in front of the house where they dropped them off. Some motherfucker just came with that bullshit. Do you really think a motherfucker is finna walk around this motherfucking planet knowing how cold this world is, giving a fuck about them laws? I could stand in front of any judge and say, motherfucker, do you don't ha do you not have a gun? You will be lying if you say you don't, mm -hmm. motherfucker, because everybody who really listen to them police radio calls, uh. you gonna have a gun. Oh, yeah. So New York will never be a place I live. How the fuck I can't have a gun, motherfucker? I can't a protect myself. <laughs> a gun? You can't have anything. Somebody said brass knuckles. Yeah, look, the list in New York is ridiculous. Swords, uh, can sword canes, brass knuckles, stun guns, black... I mean, you... Somebody said in Missouri... Little kids can buy guns. Let me Jesus tell you something, man. Christ. When I go to St. Louis, man, shit, I ain't gonna lie. I know damn near everybody out here got a gun. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> when I hit them clubs, I'll be like, motherfucker, this, what's that motherfucker? Uh, 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 that movie Deep Cover? Wild, yeah. wild west. Yeah. 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 It's automatic. Wild, wild west, motherfucker. You're crazy, yeah. Shit, dog. I ain't finna be out here naked. Fuck mm. that. I hate motherfucking California got, um, they got guns, but the guns are. Uh, 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 That's the way they want. It's regulated. You can only yeah. have a certain amount of bullets in the Yeah, game. right. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? I'll tell you. Like if the shit jump off, you got to reload after every <laughs> couple of shots. And you're not allowed to have a certain each amount state, of clips. Right. Each state is going to have their own thing, but believe me, if you're smart enough and you take the time enough, you can, you know, kind of handle everything around all that. You just have to be very careful. Very. Somebody careful. said said a fact that we know of: Plexico Burris went to prison for shooting himself so, in New yeah. York City. Uh, <laughs> this world is cold, dog. So crazy. You just got to watch. Where this you're, world yeah. is cold, man. Watch where you're at. The killers That's out safe. here, but you can't protect yourself against the killers, man. Because the government know we can't let everybody have guns because we can't hustle our motherfucking drugs like we want to. We got drugs out here to make motherfuckers lose their motherfucking mind. Well, there's ways around it. Remember, I was like, like I just said, like, I, like, for instance, I was told, you know, when I was going through some protection type class things, they said, you, you get caught with this, darling, because I have that little Batman knife, you know, the blade. If you get caught like with butterfly this, butterfly like yeah, that. but if you get caught with this, you're going to get into some real trouble. If you want to protect yourself, just have this. And they gave me a, um, um, a letter opener. I mean, it looks just like a knife. It just doesn't fold. It doesn't flip. But you can keep it right there in your car, you know, in the door or whatever, and you can get it. Technically, legally, I was opening my mail in my car if you stab somebody with it. So there's a I lot wish of different I would really pull out a letter, a letter opener on a nigga well, out there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying After we both get through laughing, we be like, okay, come on, let's finish this. Right. 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 The motherfucker want a bad enough to fuck your ass up with that goddamn face. letter opener. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But I'm just saying, anyway. The letter right. opener ain't gonna get me off, off your motherfucking ass. butter knife can be stabbed in your dog No, I know you can cut somebody with the shit, but Darlene, if I was trying to do something to you and you pulled out a letter opener. Which I do in my my car. But most letter openers don't look like your average typical letter opener is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. 
I tell the police this knife will let her open them up. <laughs> exactly. They look like a knife is what I'm saying. Okay, anyway. All right, moving on. Um, so Tyrese, this fella, bless his soul, he just cannot seem... I don't know if he does some of these things on purpose. Why? But anyway, um, he, he, you know, he continues to make little... Um, Little vibes on the internet. So this one has to do with him, bless his heart. He was um, doing one of those throwback kind of things on IG, and he was standing in front of the actual house where he filmed Baby Boy. So he's, he's and he wanted to get people's reactions because of what he was asking. He was like, wow, he said this. Who remembers this scene in Baby Boy? I haven't been back to this house since we shot that scene. Wow. And first of all, I was thinking, well, why would you be back? Why would you go back? <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> but he was like, so he was looking for reactions. But what's funny is most people were distracted by his damn beard. So they were saying, <laughs> so it turned into a joke. People were like, um, it, so many people made comments. It was ridiculous that even Taraji P. Henson, his co-star from the movie, of course, she even had to make a comment. She said, oh, poor Stinka. That beard just won't connect. We're going to have a build a, bear, a build a beard for you, Papa. Oh, so, man. <laughs> <laughs> so Taraji got her little dig in, too, but it was hilarious. But I was like, what are you doing, dude? Nigga, you need to go back on that bus from back in the day where you saw <laughs> That's fucked up when the beard don't connect at all. It took me years for my beard to do some type of connection like it do. But everybody beard don't come out right. You what you got to say about that, Precise? Nigga, I'm on my way, nigga. Long time out. We, we finally got a connection. And uh, we on our way, man. You know, it's, it's a slow process. You know what I'm talking about? Everything ain't a fucking sprint. It's a marathon on my face. That's Facebook. right, goddamn. <laughs> and to help the brother out, that too. That shit look like them islands in Hawaii you, right there. Oh, you're so you, stupid. You, 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 you missing something on your cheek yourself, motherfucker. Don't try it. Matter of fact, you ain't got that. Tyrese got Wait. that same uh, problem right No, Tyrese here. shit bogus as hell well, right there. Wait, no, in all fairness, to help him out, he's... His he, beard like yeah, his yeah, head up top. That, that but wait, he normally does his sport a beard, so I guess he was just trying something out. So I mean, uh, no, he letting it grow out, but he it ain't growing out. He masculinity. That's what's oh, going on. Tyrese, you know we joking with you, nigga. That beard ain't shit. You know that beard ain't shit. <laughs> he knew, he knew you gonna cut that motherfucker off when something <laughs> happened. <laughs> And Had to go to some formal and event. And, yeah. he, and he continues to stay in the news um, in the exact same, literally, Whisper days. Willow. Somebody say he got a Kevin Durant face. I can. Oh, ah, so I messed up. Like Kevin, Durant. The face. Kevin Durant got the worst beard in the world. Uh, Bruh. No, but it grow long worst right hair. here. It grow long right here. Now he got the worst hair, man. That shit look like that, man. Oh, no, yeah, his hair. Wet he, cereal on top Kevin of Kevin LeBron head. and, and uh, uh. LeBron <laughs> hair is greatly bad. God. Greatly bad. So, so anyway, he's staying in the news. Oh, uh, he also, uh, we spoke about this when it started, but he, you know, he also is going through that divorce. So he, um, Ooh. Tyrese, that second one, he's going through a divorce. divorce. Yeah, we spoke about it before. What the fuck you get married for and fuck your Fast and Furious money up? Shout out Goose. He, now, so they're getting a divorce, and what the why he's back in the news is not Shout from the divorce. We spoke about the divorce when, it's, when it hit the um, news, but now he filed a motion to halt the wife's, or soon-to-be ex-wife's, unreasonable divorce demands. Um, she's, an, she's a, I guess, a singer? They, no. Well, I don't know what, she, what it is she does. It doesn't say. Anyway, what happened was he had to halt the demands because he says they're unreasonable, which includes paying her allegedly. Um, a, a, oh, she hired five attorneys. So poor, she wants him to pay for the attorneys. She's also, um, she's petitioning. Always go, go. <laughs> She also wants um, 20000 a month in child support. They have a daughter together. What more do you want from me? Right. Let me tell you all some um, Tyrese and all the stars that um, keep getting married over and over again. People be telling y'all y'all handsome and shit. Nigga, <gasps> let me tell y'all something, man. Do you know what? I can't. Y'all got to know the bitch is fucking with y'all because of the fame, dog. Come <laughs> on, man. Come on, now. I'm just saying. Tyrese ain't no ugly brother, but the hoes you fucking are here for the fame, brother. <laughs> the hoes don't want you. Y'all motherfuckers got to stop believing in bitches when they throw that pussy back at you and tell you it's yours. It's not true. And it don't stop with him. One last thing. He ain't worse than Terrence Howard. Terrence what, Howard. Oh, Terrence. He, he, he like little Asian bitches. He be was like, on Give a... me your money. <laughs> 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 I can't. 
It doesn't stop with him. The last thing now. Make a whole now, fortune. <laughs> spend on orange chicken. Damn. The, <laughs> the last thing on Tyrese. Hey, Bless man. His soul. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> now, remember when we spoke about him when he was he got involved with this girl. Her name is Zelly Timothy. She's a, a. They say he got a pubic hair beard. So. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. She's a, I, I don't know, I guess she's an IG. <laughs> she's an IG model or whatever. Anyway, remember we we we, wrote, where we spoke about it, about where Ooh. he was, when he first got with this new girl. Now he's dating this Instagram model. Don't do it, Ty. No, he been, so he, Fuck remember. Fuck these raggedy hoes with me, dog. Remember he did that so-called, he acted like he was shaving her down there? Remember we covered oh, that story? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that yeah, was yeah. her. What? We covered that. Remember when he acted and put on IG where he was shaving her? He was shaving her what? Her pussy? Her yeah. pussy, yeah. But we, we, we spoke about that. He put it on Instagram, whatever. Anyway, um, so a couple of months ago, um, he they made this big thing. He posted this picture of her in a bathtub covered with bubbles and was like saying, oh, man, I'm, I'm sorry that we, you know, it, it didn't work out that they broke up, which caused a little bit of excitement online from people that follow both of them. Well, they just admitted because people were like, I'm calling some some, you know, people smelt something that wasn't right. Uh. And sure enough, it was so bad. They, they had so much, I guess, information on it. He actually admitted, because people were like, they just, it seems like they just did that, breaking up and all that posts and stuff just to get some fame or some, you know, news. And sure enough, it got so bad where he admitted it. So he, he admitted what that he was that he did. He said it was my idea. He confessed. We just want to get a Jesse Smollett. We just want to apologize. We broke up for a good Oof. three and a half minutes. We did it for the gram. He said he claimed that he did it to help her um, followers. So he did some sucker shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he but he, he's he, always he, doing he, some he's like he didn't care. Clout chasing <laughs> weird shit on Tyrese. IG, look, bro, I, I ain't what gonna lie. You, you know, I, I root for you one hundred percent. But nigga, when you was online crying That's and you said, "What do y'all want from yeah. me?" Nigga? That one and the tryout. And it's the just reading. certain shit what I just watch when I want to laugh. Me? That Tyrese, what do y'all want from me? And then the reading. And too. that Dr. Uma phone call. No. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> when when uh, JoJo fall out on stage, <laughs> you ever seen from Casey and JoJo when old boy singing? He go. Eh. <laughs> and they step over him and get the mic, nigga. Some shit I just watch online. That is the laugh, nigga. I'm glad that Joe, you know, he all right yeah, and shit, yeah. man, nigga. The, the, oh. the big, the big nigga came yeah. on stage and yeah. they got the mic up yeah, and stepped back over his ass. <laughs> he just left the mic up, nigga. <laughs> You talk about it. I be laughing at this Woo. shit, nigga. Oh, God. Somebody had that Maxwell music to Dr. Uma. Oh, shut up. Oh, God, right. He said, no, I got this. I got this. Did it wrong. He said, <laughs> 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 Niggas be having the stupidest shit yeah. online, yeah, dog. Niggas make some win. funny shit they online. The internet I gonna, gonna win, win, bro. I'm forgetting about a couple of them. It was some shit that happened right now. Um... And which one? Uh, Hold on, man. Why I'm forgetting this shit? It's so funny, and I'm, uh, I'm not even remembering how to Reese. say it because I want people to look it up. It is Cry Reese, yeah. Cry Reese. When uh, he did a reading, you're the one who exposed me to that. Somebody say KC kept singing. Singing. KC <laughs> <laughs> help me. He was on check on his brother. He didn't even go check. <laughs> oh, you oh, shit, you bro. hit me to that the one. The and Will <laughs> shit is funny, too. That's funny. When Will's sitting there looking like this. They say he, he, they say he was trying him. to commit suicide or something like that. No, he, said, he admitted he, he went through a period where that's where he thought about it. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I hate look. people to say I thought I was going to kill myself. Back in the day. If you don't <laughs> do it, you're just teasing us. <laughs> I hate motherfuckers that claim suicide, but they never did it. Oh my the people God. who did it are the real motherfuckers. Oh, my That's true. Lord. Them the real motherfuckers who ain't bullshitting. Them other motherfuckers just want attention. I'll take myself out. I'm like Joe Clark. I'm like, motherfucker, do it. Do it. it. <laughs> You're killing your brain, <laughs> Sam. Right. You're killing your brain. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the Will and Jada shit jump? is funny. Oh, that is. Um, what was that? The interview. Oh, I'll tell you what's funny. 
when, when, when Kanye was with the, uh, what's her name, and she was pregnant, and they were walking, he was trying to hide from the press, and he was like, and he walked right into oh, that. Oh, into that, yeah, point, yeah, 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 yeah. He, you never seen that? Yeah, he I, I know, I told you, talk about and the And she looked like she wanted to laugh. He hit What about that Kanye pole. when he was crying in front of the people? I almost killed my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this whole ass thing. Now, the, the internet got all kind of funny shit. What? All you gotta do is record this. I mean, watch this shit. Oh, that's yeah. too funny. It's good for laughs. Anyway, uh, speaking of Kanye, really quick, um, he is back to doing his Sunday services. And he made headlines again. Somebody say I got on Uno apparel. <laughs> 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 Nigga, y'all motherfuckers ain't one. shit. That's a good one. You were weighing on the mind. What was that one game that you had to, uh, you had to hit the little pads Simon. and had to cut Simon? Simon. And then got on a Simon hoodie, boy. Red. Blue. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> say the Fresh Prince of Wolf tickets. You ain't kill yourself, oh, nigga. Oh, stop. I can't. I'll kill me. <laughs> Do oh, it, You dude. already put it up. Sorry, Niall. Anyway, so he's back doing his Sunday service. And Somebody say I'm built like a draw four. Of Fuck y'all, man. Instead of draw people four. making, um, you know, like a big, big deal about the Sunday services being back. Oh, wait a minute. What about Will Smith's son? Hey, man. When he said, Tyler's my boyfriend. That was funny because Tyler, like, totally, like, what the hell? Hell no. Yeah. And he was like, that is true. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, so they're making a big stink because Kanye didn't have his eyebrows. And he's done it before. So he sent, showed up at Sunday service with his eyebrows gone. He looks stupid he as fuck. He is fun. hustling, y'all. Yeah, he's y'all doing Y'all are idiots, it. man. He's doing something. That's when you got that money he's, he's for them Yeezy you shoes where it don't matter no, what you do. He don't even care. Yeah, he's, he's having like, fun with everybody. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm chilling out here, goddammit, fucking my nigga and acting like my <laughs> wife, man. Oh, goddammit. <laughs> and um, moving on quickly. Did you ever see know, Will maybe? Smith and his son? They was at the uh, Music Awards show when old boy was singing that song, um, uh, Bruno Mars. And uh, Will Smith's son, when he was watching the man sing, it was like how when a girl be watching a nigga yeah. sing. Yeah, like they swooning. Like, oh, 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 oh. He looked like he was crying. Oh. Was like, if I was with my son and he was crying with a nigga sing, I'd be like, hey, man, get your get whole your ass off of me, man. Right. Get your mark ass, oh, ass the fuck out of here. Go cake sit in the car. Get your cake ass the fuck away from me crying when a nigga singing. Oh, and this ain't a funeral. Dick oh, in the no. booty. That nigga got a curl and you crying. Can't with this one here. Get your pussy. All boy. right, moving on. Uh, speaking of weight loss, um, hmm. little Terrio, you remember him, right? No. Remember when he became famous back in the day? One of the first people to go, you know, the, do the vines and oh, anyway, who did it? he became famous by his funny dances. A chubby kid. He was ten years old when he first started in 2013. Um, oh, making his man. first uh, videos. Remember Little Terrio? Everybody. Oh, that's the little boy who couldn't talk. Everybody. Motherfucking. Uh, yeah. Motherfucking. Uh, that, that ain't him. No, that ain't him. Little that's Terrio. That the one that say I like to do bad things. Yeah, and he, anyway. I he, don't like to do bad things. Right, he blew up on the internet sensation, whatever. And then back in 2020, he came out as a rapper. He had a couple songs out. But anyway, he lost over 140 pounds. So that's him on the right. He said he wanted to inspire a lot of other because it was too many um, obese and chubby, chunky kids. So he. Lost uh, 140 pounds. Well, congratulations on losing that weight, little bro. It's your fat ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, he can agree. He can laugh about that. Even. He sounds like he's got a good sense of humor. He, right? He's so stupid. All right, and congrats to Vanessa Bryant and the Kobe Bryant estate. They will receive $400 million after Coca-Cola bought full control over the energy drink brand Body Armor. Back in 2014, the late NBA superstar invested $8 million in the Gatorade rival. And then Coca-Cola wanted to acquire the remaining 85 of the company, so they paid it out with $5.6 billion cash. Their cut is four hundred. dollars Vanessa uh, Bryant posted on her IG some photos of Kobe when he initially made the deal and said, congratulations, Poppy, you did it. Always one she step got, ahead. How much money she got? $400 million. I'm so proud of everything you were able to accomplish. I wish you were here to celebrate. You deserve all the recognition for this. You continue to be great. I know the motherfucker getting that pussy happy as hell now. Somebody up in there. She's been hanging out a lot with her good friend, um, Sierra, and what's his name? No, she got to get dick. All the girls who, boy, who, who husband or whatever died, I'm sorry that he died, but them hoes is right. Maybe one of his friends. I don't know. What's homeboy's name? If I die, I, don't I don't know my bitch going to be Mary fucking King. that night. Uh, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. Yeah, because they hang out with their family a lot. So he, maybe she'll he do? Somebody. Sierra and her are best friends. Sierra, Sierra and, and who? And Vanessa Kobe Bryant, Bryant are best friends, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. So maybe one of his friends. You think Russell Wilson be fingering? Never mind. <laughs> no, I cannot. 
Yeah, his finger hurt. Uh, his finger hurt and shit. Is that right? Anyway, yeah. So. I wonder do he talk like that when he fucking a bitch. Them Tiger Wood talking niggas. You know, Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson and Tiger Woods, they talk alike. Hey, you want to bring that pussy over here? <laughs> what the fuck you say, goofy ass thing? Do you really talk like that? Them niggas, when they be talking, yeah, because, uh, you know, I threw the ball downfield. Uh, <laughs> we ain't heard Tiger talk in a while. Man, that's oh, true. I know, ever since that crash. Yeah, something right, happened with that. He's been hiding out, out with that money. He's been on the low with <laughs> Tiger that. was fucked up. He said, put, put a statement out there saying that it was something else. I was, some I was yeah, fucked exactly. up. God damn it, I was off that shit leaving some bitch house. And last thing uh, I want to say is... Putting this tiger dick in a bitch. <laughs> this guy. Tomorrow, um, that harder, The Harder They Fall will, will be available to stream on Netflix, and that is the all-black cast... Um, Western, we t- spoke about. Is I that was, what Dion oh, yeah, called him now? Yes, but wait a second. I want to see it. I was so upset because if any of you guys tried to see it as well, it was in zero theaters. I mean, you had to travel so far. It was in these small, like, unknown. But they played the shit like it's some bullshit. I was shit. so upset that they did that. So anyway, it is available tomorrow uh, to stream on Netflix. So please all check it out and maybe make their numbers go up. Corey got a Kool-Aid Nike suit. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> To back everybody up that's in the movie. So I was upset that they didn't have Somebody said they tried to kill Tiger. Shit, Tiger tried to oh. kill himself. Dog. <laughs> Tiger depressed. He was that, driving away from the That situation. maid left with all his money. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga married a maid and called her a model. She was the maid of the white boy. Next, yeah, he was like, you better get that paper from that nigga. He like you. He was another uh, famous golfer. Yeah, he was Tiger married a golfer's maid and said she was a model. Nanny, not maid. She was a, his kid's nanny. A nanny? What is a nanny? A maid. I'm over there watching they children. have separate maids if they got money like that. Okay, but is there a difference between a nanny and a maid? Yeah, I really want to know. What is the difference? The house and the nanny takes care of the kids. Is that what it is? Yeah, unless yeah. you have somebody that does them both. So you're telling me you hired a nanny and the bitch ain't got to wash dishes or nothing. She just got to clean the motherfucking, wash the kids. Yeah. If, you're the nanny, yeah. if you're the nanny, you got responsibilities, goddammit. Sure, but the but it doesn't fall you on you. No. <laughs> In Corey's eyes, you don't are. ever call yourself a nanny and think you're not a maid. If you a nanny, bitch, you a maid. Nanny make you feel better about yourself. <laughs> I'm not a maid. I'm a <clears throat> nanny, oh. bitch. You take care of shit for money. They got to do with cleaning up. When you watch kids, it's mainly cleaning up. God damn it. If they ain't shitting, they eating. That's not, that, sounds like, that sounds like a mom. Rubbing something on you? Sounds like being a mom. Anyway, yeah. Corey's jacket is sponsored by Marlboro. Fuck y'all niggas. You said rubbing something on you? Crisscross what? want their outfit back. Fuck y'all. Damn, now and later hoodie. Fuck y'all <laughs> niggas. Corey looked like an African flag. I'll go with that. <laughs> But I'm going to go see if I have that stuff in there. I wonder if I, did I leave it at home? I had that bag in my bed. In my I hope you got, you oh. probably took it in the house, God damn it. Do you be popping that shit no, all day No, I long. was emptying my bag out when I went to the doctor. I didn't want to take everything in there. What if something like that fell out of my bag? What? Well, they wouldn't really know. Yes, yeah, she would. The guy had all kind of on the sticker in the front. It Corey says jacket made something. a Rubik's Cube. I'm going to go check, though. I'll go check and see if I have it. I normally wear hats and shit. I don't be feeling like doing nothing with my head. I ain't cutting my hair till motherfucking Christmas. So you're going to have a, a I'm full just getting pro. lined up. He's going to get the Jay-Z. Up. I want my shit to grow back. You're going to have the cap I'm going to keep greasing my hair because all you people who don't know, you got to make sure your hair oiled and don't wash it that much. If you want your hair to grow, your head, if you want your hair to grow, your hair got to stank for a week. Like these bitches out here. <laughs> It's like, why you always fuck me doggy style? So I ain't got to smell your head, bitch. Uh, Put your head up there. Oh I'd rather smell the back of your ass oh. than your head. <laughs> stanky head, stanky ass. Which one smell the worst? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Stanky Talk ass, about that, stanky that, head, damn. A bitch, a bitch who work out. Stanky ass got to be worse, man. Yeah. Have you, a bitch who work out with a weave on her head. Yeah, I smelled that before too. It's terrible. Oh, and be pressing it. Well, putting yeah, heat on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That corn chip that. smell. Yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about. Can't but ain't nothing going to beat ass. Just, oh, God. Bitch, it's a burnt <laughs> thing on your head. <laughs> you can't press a weave and then go to Zumba, bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> your head stank. Oh, shit. 
I'm tired of you getting your life together and working out. <laughs> Uh-oh, somebody said, who said that? Somebody said, do like Speedy. In other words, like, just stay down. Put his head in there. <laughs> do like Speedy, that's funny. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, thanks, D. We glad that bullshit though. Um, <laughs> that juice? Right. You know, I heard we got some beats. <laughs> you know? Somebody said we got some beats. We might be able to come up with another killer on this motherfucker. And it was supposed that uh, that ran into us in, in Columbus talking about who's writing for y'all. Bitch, this is all freestyle, man. This is all the top girl of the girl yeah. with other girls. Ain't nobody. It's amazing. How she turns them out and brings them to a world. Nigga, my brother, bitch. We, we don't get credit for the music because y'all don't know us as, as, as rap stars or whatever, goddammit. But we this shit that is shit. archived. Yeah, bro. Who we are will be known throughout the universe. You better fucking know it. What we I do say. on 5150 Echoes <laughs> in Eternity. <laughs> <laughs> that was on that movie. Uh, With Bane. Yeah, what was the name of that movie? No, not, uh, it was Gladiator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of good lines for that right. one, huh? Gladiator. Yeah. Oh, you're not dope entertained. Man. Right. Damn. Shadows and dust. Right before they killed his ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's some dope shit. Your last words was shadows and dust. Shadows and dust. <laughs> oh, what's some more dope, what's some dope ass lines from, 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 from 300? What he say before he kicked them in? Right. <laughs> this is give them nothing, <laughs> but take everything. Wait, wait to see tomorrow. Who? It's I not the lash they fear. It is my divine power. Lines from three hundred. Can we get lines from 300 from the chat room? <laughs> <laughs> they got another movie like you oh, from back to front to back. Aw, thank so, you, Darren McMath. He said you're a cutie pie. So Somebody say Gladiator was fire. He Hell flirted. yeah, Gladi Gladiator he was he fire. Is. That's all right, I'm not mad at him. Like a <laughs> what that motherfucker said, the king saved for his son, choked him out on Gladiator. Uh-oh. You're... My failure as a father. Oh yeah, is your fault as a son. Then he tried to hug him. <laughs> that faggot ass nigga choked his dad to death. Yeah, he did. You so love me. <laughs> oh shit! You got a spoiled ass son. You in danger, man. Look what that motherfucker oh, yeah. said for three hundred. My arm. Yeah. <laughs> Without my glasses. This is is <laughs> Before he kicked that motherfucker in there. Uh, bow to me. Wait a minute. What they say? <laughs> Earth and water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nicholas. <is> water. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this is Spider. Yeah. I promise you won't enjoy this. No, that, that was dope. That motherfucker said, he said, when he, when he, he told old girl, give him some pussy, and she'll let him talk in front of the Senate. When, when he got her, he was like, he said, you will not enjoy this. It will not be over quickly. <laughs> I am not your king. Uh, Damn, that's see. some dope shit to tell a bitch before you take some pussy. If I was a rapist, I'd tell a bitch that. <laughs> I'd be like, come here. Oh, my God. You will not enjoy this. <laughs> Jesus. This will not be over quickly. Stupid. That's a nigga in shape. You fuck a bitch with intent to last all night. <laughs> or a nigga on dope. That dope dick, boy, two. that dope dick all night, boy. That yeah. nigga be fucking them bitches all shield. night. Bitch, you like this? I can't feel nothing. A whiskey dick. <laughs> whiskey dick. <laughs> yeah. Whiskey. 50 50. Whiskey dick don't work, do it? No, it's that 50 50. Like, either that motherfucker ain't going nowhere or that motherfucker staying on all night. What about that motherfucking uh, <laughs> One nasty two. ass? What's that nasty <laughs> ass gin? Who, uh, uh. Anyway, Tangeray? Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, that they shit do something different to you, yeah. too. Tangeray, they still Yeah, they do. Tangeray, you oh fuck God. with your mouth open. You be like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That is if you can. That Tangeray drink ain't shit. <laughs> anyway, all right. We finna take a break. Come up with one of these killers. 51 motherfucking 50. We'll be back. Be 51 right. 50, be
Let me know when I'm on. Hey, I just want to let y'all know we're going to play one of my songs in about six minutes. We'll be right back, motherfuckers.
51 motherfucking 50 is back. 50 motherfucking what the 50 is at. Yeah. Hey, man, so what? Don't we supposed to remind people to motherfucking hit the like button or some shit? All you motherfuckers like who and subscribe. Like, don't subscribe and shit. Do all that whole ass shit you know that'll help us. <laughs> motherfucker. I want to send a shout out. Make sure I got this shit right. The big conglomerate up here at the motherfucking Coin Academy. Uh huh. Home of the Baller Ball Podcast. The podcast. You dig? My nigga Laylaw in the motherfucking house. Yes, sir. Laylaw be passing us some of these motherfucking dope ass beats and shit, man. He quiet though. He don't never say nothing. This one tonight from Dyer. This one from where? Dyer. 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 Last week was massive. Last uh, week, last week we did a beat massive. for massive. And um, this one is from Dyer, my man Laylaw, D Mac, put these things together. We get a motherfucking chance to motherfucking come up with some shit where we ain't got to worry about motherfuckers coming with the thirsty shit later on. <laughs> <laughs> but we was fucking with motherfuckers for a while with beats, man. But then motherfuckers, next thing you know, them motherfuckers talking about, oh, that beat, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. That's thirsty shit, how y'all played us with that, man. Um. Anyway, motherfucker, yeah, cross color Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Petty Fred. Did y'all like obese single mom? Hey, all right, I heard that. <laughs> yeah, I made that song a while ago, Obese Single Mom. The obese. There's yeah, some flying here, D. Did you it's open coming your out the Twizzlers? <laughs> he couldn't think of one right. Oh right. shit! It hit the table. Now, gives it up. Yeah. God. God made dirt and dirt don't the hurt. The obese. The I want to say what's up to all the obese bitches around the country who make sure niggas, niggas got a place to stay. God damn it! If it wasn't for obese bitches, boy, motherfucker, damn, boy, this country would be fucked up. That bitch be there, boy. You can move in for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, hit the like button if you fuck with us, man. Um, yeah. Let's get this song in before we forget the lyrics. <laughs> we be freestyling these shits. Motherfuckers don't believe it. All right. Uh, D don't know nothing about this. Double tapper. But check it out. Sometimes... Viagra is necessary for a relationship to reach its peak. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, you got to fuck that bitch twice, twice in the night. night. If you want that bitch acting right, you got to double tap her. Double got tap her. Oh. In the night. You got to fuck that bitch twice, twice in the night. Twice if in the you night. want that bitch acting right, you got to double tap her. Check it out. My girl came over. And I was tired, but I knew what was up. I had to take this pill before I retire. Dude. My rhyme ain't shit right now, but I'm <laughs> trying to tell you niggas how to keep that bitch with a smile on her face. Take that pill so your dick in place. You gotta fuck, fuck that bitch twice in the night if you want that bitch acting right. You gotta fuck that bitch twice in the night if you want that bitch acting right. You got to double tap her. <laughs> You got to double tip her. Well, tell about it, man. Uh, well, I had this one girl, and I swear she did the most. But if I didn't fuck her at least twice, she'd take off like a ghost. See, her goddamn sexual drive was moving hard, and I was riding with it. And next thing you know, I had to know. Had to let her know I'm gonna get with it. Fuck that bitch twice in the night. Twice in the night. Fuck that bitch acting right. You fuck that bitch twice, twice in the, the night. night. If you want that bitch acting right, you got to double tap her. You got to double tap her. 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 I need some blue chew <laughs> on the side of my bed. Oh, I need a bitch with a hot ass mouth giving me head. Hey. Some of these hoes gotta go to work in the morning. 
Going up to whip that blue chew That bitch gon' be yawning You gotta Fuck fuck that that bitch twice in the night Won't that bitch actin' right Fuck that bitch twice in the night Won't that bitch actin' right You got to double tap her Y'all double tapping out there. Ooh, you got to double tap, tap her. What's up, Precise? What's uh, up? Uh, well, all I know is I got this hoe, and she go ahead and deep throws for show. And when she goes ahead and gets up on her toes, Lord and mercy, I'm going to hit her three times. I swear to God, that bitch is fucking three fine. And I, I got them on the ride. I'm going to get on this beat one more time. You got to... That, that bitch, bitch twice in the night. night. If Want you don't, that bitch. bitch might bite. You better fuck that bitch twice, twice in the night. Get her ass acting right. You, you gotta, gotta double, double tap, tap her. her. Come on, Cole. You got to double tap her. D, you know anything about getting double tapped? I'm not mad at it though. That's for sure. You got anything for this? What? No, I'll pass. No mas tingo dong. <laughs> no mas tingo dong. No mas tingo dong. You're not, you're not gonna give it two, two uh, bars. Shit. You gotta fuck that bitch twice in the night. Get that bitch acting right. You better fuck that bitch twice in the night. If you wanna get a bitch acting right, you gotta double tap her. Tap her. Tap, tap. You gotta oh. double tap her. Just kill the fly right now. <laughs> This girl came over that I knew from when I was a kid. Fuck that shit from back in the day. Do you want this dick? Her mama spent the night. I was like, fuck it. After I was through, I grabbed my dick and put it in my drawers and I tucked it. <laughs> fuck that bitch twice in the night. Oh, that bitch acting right. I fuck shaved my bitch. balls the other day because I didn't know this girl in her face. Look like she was about to lick. I like the slob when it drip and it drip, be drip. <laughs> yeah. I fuck that bitch twice in the night. If you don't be me, the bitch won't be acting right. Fuck that bitch twice in the night, twice in the night. You got to double tap her. Go. You, you got to double tap her. Wake up, bitch. 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 I don't care. I got to wet this dick. If your pussy don't get wet in the middle of the night, I won't do it right. You got to spit start some of them. Can't think of nothing else. She went down on me in the middle of the rental. Ooh, it busted up my mental. And when she started going down, I knew that things were get sentimental. But I ain't gonna give her all that shit. Cause I swear to God, I'll make her feel like she a real bitch. And if she get on the fucking track, she might make some money for a real pimp. But I'm just real saying, let's just talk that shit. Eat pussy <laughs> under the cover. Cover coochie. Let me cover say that again. Coochie. Come on. Real men can eat pussy under Real the men. cover. <laughs> <laughs> under the covers. Fuck that bitch twice in the night. Uh. Want that bitch acting right. Fuck that bitch twice in the night. If you want that bitch acting right, you got to double, 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 you know, it's getting cold outside. <laughs> Sometimes you Go gotta deeper. eat pussy. Go deeper. While it's cold in the room. Tell that bitch put the cover over my head. <laughs> so I can keep my head on while I eat pussy. This fuck with you. Big shout out to my nigga Zoe Williams. So, so. Uh. Fuck that bitch twice a night. You want that bitch acting right. Fuck that bitch twice a night. That bitch acting right. Yeah. You gonna die from sugar. <laughs> you got a double twist. You gonna die from sugar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Diabetes in your mouth. When you put Diabetes that twist in your mouth. Don't come with one like this twice. Mm. <laughs> Why your Twizzler got a crook in it? <laughs> Twizzling bitches through the week. <laughs> but if you don't fuck two days, that dick gon' skeet, yeah. <laughs>
He gotta let a double tamper. Alright. Gotta hit her twice in the night. You gotta uh, double tap. Check it out. This week, Jackson, Mississippi. Hey, Chuckles in Jackson, Mississippi, November 5th, November 6th. Come on down to the show. I heard they got some big thing going on. Support a brother. Watch our songs on stage. See all the rage. Hell yeah. You dig what I'm saying? I ain't playing. Yeah, Corey yeah, Oakham in the house. Bitches be staying. Watching the whole show. Watching my thing grow. Everybody know. <laughs> Here we go. My nigga Precise, plug your shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, first and foremost, man, shout out to motherfucking Columbus. Shout out to goddamn Obi for his birthday weekend and goddamn for Mo for his birthday, goddamn it. Hey, man. Y'all know what it motherfucking is, man. Shout out to DJ Tone. Get that motherfucking album of your life, Vision of Precision. Hey, when we was doing our, our show that next day, we appreciate uh, one of the fellas was asking where you can get that album. So appreciate y'all. Appreciate your paradise for handling that business as well. You know, I'm working on a second album. But for right now, you can catch all my, all my newer songs on Spotify. So go to P-R-E-C-Y-S-E. Spotify on that motherfucker. Corey Hogan got a Spotify as well. Go motherfucking patronize over there. It's free. It ain't shit, goddammit. Precise about me is back up. Go get your merch off that motherfucker. MadMossMotherfucking.com for all your CMOS needs. Go to MadMossMotherfucking.com where it means to manifest a dream. And use my discount code, Precise888. Follow me or subscribe to me on YouTube as Mr. Precise8. That's M-R-P-R-E-C-Y-S-E-8, man. Fuck with me. And man, last but not least, Cole. Appreciate you for allowing us to use this motherfucking platform. Listen here, man. Big shout out to Obi once again. He gave me a new 5150 hat. Oh, that shit I forgot cold to too. throw it on. I'm going to wear it next week, Obi, my bad. Nice. Obi from Cincinnati. The blessing. Always looking out. The blessing built like a bowl of dressing, you dig? You That's my nigga, girl, though. Shout out. Send that shout out to them people, D. All right, this is um, actually a woman that sent you this stuff. Okay. Says she was the lady in the chat room, the live chat, that asked about uh, the address. Anyway, shout out to whoever you are that sent the stuff. Sin City Romance X. It's bedroom therapy. Changing one bedroom at a time. Hey. She sent it. They're in, located in Las Vegas. Um, so look up Sin City Romance X. It's herbal supplements for the bedroom. So she sent uh, a few items to try. And then she did say, though, Corey, share with the, you can have them all yourself or share them with the rest of the panel. Somebody else wants some? I, I'm, no. We're going to share. Either. Okay. The powder. That nigga it. Cincy from uh, Obi from Cincinnati sent me a text. The Millennium Tour was here this weekend. The only rappers was Soldier Boy and the Yin Yang Twin. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, the you ran went. into one of the Yin Yang Twins. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know Obi saw him. To the window. <laughs> Big funny. shout out to the homeboy, motherfucking. Uh, 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 I ain't gonna even say that shit. Never mind. I thought I was gonna talk about it, but fuck it. Uh -huh. anyway. Shout out to the nurse. <laughs> the nurse that was with Obi, <laughs> she healed you. Uh oh. Obi about to go choke that bitch. Corey, really quick, they said if you're gonna take any, take any of the uh, products, take them 30 to 40 minutes before intimacy. Damn. And well, she says enjoy. Look at y'all. Let's put some goat weed in. There. I want to let y'all know something about the 51 motherfucking 50 show. The 51 50 show has been a turnstile. For so much talent, when I think about everybody who's came on this show, I am proud of myself. When I think about the relationships that happened from this show, I'm proud yeah, of man. myself. Just yeah, Niche was working this weekend. Killed it, man. Shout out Just Niche. Her and her boyfriend was telling me about they are a product of the 5150 show. Yeah. He wanted a chat room, guys. Got that pussy from Just Nisha, now they making it, goddamn. Hit, hit it with that 5150 DM. <laughs> right, goddamn. I, I was like, oh, you know what, uh, your ass just, you, you had to answer it out of guilt for being loyal to the show, huh? Right, Just <laughs> right. That's great. There's a yeah. whole bunch of shit I could, I could uh, uh, put on this show. Like, man, it's, we got motherfucking, my man Precise Craig Fax. Stand up. Craig Fax has a great podcast. I was, last night I was talking to Nate Jackson. Nate oh, Jackson Nate. has an actual comedy club. Yep, in Seattle. And you know what I'm saying? He's having other acts there, too. I think he said Case was performing or somebody. He said, nice. um, it's in Seattle. And if y'all in the Seattle area, go fuck with Nate, man. Nate, Nate is actually a talented comedian. Yeah. It was good to see him again yesterday. 
You know and, what I'm saying? And that rock show got picked up for another season. So that's, that's what's up. Yeah, so he'll be back on that. I'm just talking about all this shit that come from the 5150 motherfucking show. Mm-hmm. So y'all motherfuckers can come in, the, come in motherfuckers with that bullshit. It ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? Me and mm-hmm. Zoe be talking on the phone. Y'all motherfuckers, me and Zoe ain't done. <laughs> me and Zoe ain't done. Sometimes niggas get heated. Real niggas fix it up by having Aww, a meeting. Thanks, Darius yeah. Love. He just sent me some cash. Big That's shout sweet. out to Uncle Bobby. Thanks, Darius Bobby Love. Thank Smith. you. I didn't what's your, what's your cash app? You sent it to me. Darlene OG Ortiz. What's your cash app, Precise? Precise 888 on everything, man. That's, That's a discount code as well to madmoss.com for the CMOS. Hit the like button. C-Y-S-E 888. Yeah, bitch. Big shout out to everybody who be blessing me on the cash app. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nice. I forgot the name of it. Joke Money. It's, it's motherfuckers that made some bogus ones out there. Exactly. Look out for But uh, be careful with that shit. Um, but I'm just saying, everybody who's been a part of this show from the beginning, Darlene, it was me and Darlene. Then I had Uncle Bobby. They didn't even want Uncle Bobby on the show. But Zoe. I brought Bobby on. Then Zoe came on. Then motherfucking Freeze Love came on. <laughs> That's true. Freeze you know was on there for a minute. Freeze, yeah. freeze, talent, man, motherfucker. This is this is a turnstile, man. There will be more people mm-hmm. coming through the shit. My, I see mm-hmm. shit about Marcus. I'm not sure on everything that's happening with Marcus. Marcus got shit going on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shout shit. out to Marcus. Big shout out, Marcus. Marcus. Yeah, that's, that's my little bro. You know Marcus. I take care of Marcus, goddamn. So whatever the fuck, y'all motherfuckers. With, just just know, oh, man. And, this okay. is a turnstile for mm-hmm. talent. And Ryan Davis as well, which I bought tickets. Ryan I bought tickets Davis. to the show coming up. Right. Support. Ryan Davis, all y'all motherfuckers be on there thinking niggas don't like each other, man. Niggas it ain't no shit like they that, man. They want people not they to like that. each other. Yeah, yeah. Right. Start it moves like that. This comedy game moves in a way like <laughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Even though this ain't all comedy, we got commentary too. We got Phil in the house. He been gone a couple of weeks, goddammit. He wear the big Puma shoes. Where you been, Phil? <laughs> Well, you <laughs> he, he been Uh-oh. in Atlanta, goddammit. He had the whole shit down. Heard motherfuckers was at his crib and shit. He had to go over there and handle his business. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that oh, bitch yeah. twice in the night. Marcus and Little Rock, that's what's up, goddammit. Phil no, went to Atlanta <laughs> to. Twice in the night. <laughs> Twice in the night. He had my anger. He's got show. a new shirt on, though. He has an old blue shirt. He do got a new shirt on. His swag is out of there. Oh, yeah. Go on, Phil. Blue. Okay. Blue Abe like- over there, goddammit. Email the little boys back. No, oh, shut the hell up. Damn, Abe. Oh, you got a picture damn. of Russell he- Simmons as his screensaver. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's mad because you gave him that chip last week. Oh, I don't know what the fuck that chip was. Nigga, don't fuck with that chip. Don't do the chip Don't challenge, fuck y'all. with that chip. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing to play with, dog. It don't even taste good. It's terrible. Just it's torture oh, for your tongue. Good. Like tax in your tongue. Real shit. Damn. And I touched my nuts. My nuts. I, I shaved my nuts earlier today. I Ooh. saw where the chip juice was on that motherfucker. It still was there? Damn, it's it was hanging up. Right it collected. Uh, they say Marcus and uh, he get one of them motherfucking lace, lace fronts, fronts in, in Arkansas. <laughs> God damn it. That motherfuckers, they stick it with sweet tea on his head. Damn. Anyway. <laughs> we finna go. Fuck, Fuck you hoes. Hell yeah, nigga. <laughs> Great minds think alike. You already know. You already know. 51 motherfucking 50 show. How many views we didn't have so far? No, I'm talking about Total. lifetime. Oh, yeah, you can. Last time, last I, looked, time I looked, we had over 54 million. Damn. Talk to me. This motherfucking shit ain't going nowhere. It's just 60 million. Ain't still counting. We ain't going nowhere. The same motherfuckers that we are going to say looking at the shit. We gonna add to this show, man. This man, show, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get a big name motherfucker to come on here. goddammit. it, some motherfucker. I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get somebody bigger and stronger than me to come on here to jump on me. We gonna um, set it up. You gonna have a fight? You're <laughs> gonna have a paper fight. fight. I'm gonna have Lavelle on the show and. Wait, what was that other kid's name? What was that Lavelle other kid? been, no. been here before? No, but what about that other kid that came? Which one? He was a he was a young cat. Remember when he caught the cab? It took him on the wrong side of the fence back in that in the valley. We talking about Willie D? 
No, he's a comedian. He was huge, young. Oh, you talk about uh, uh, Teddy. There you go. What happened to Teddy? Is he still Teddy out Teddy will be here. Is he still out we there? We got these chairs that work for Teddy, Ray. Right? Oh, my God. Teddy Ray. We're going to have Teddy Ray on the show. Shout we didn't out have Teddy Ray. There you go, Teddy. All them, man, we didn't have motherfuckers on this motherfucker, you dig? Somebody say Lil Nas X. Nas X will not be on this show. Why not? Ain't no motherfucker going to be leaking nothing in these Most chairs. Stop. That I know now, that about. That was funny. Talk about something funny. That boozy stuff between Boozy and Little Nas X's dad. They were beefing. They was they? Yup. I ain't Did know nothing about boozy? it. Yep. <laughs> They it's were little beefing. Boosie. Boosie, whatever his name is. Boosie. All I know is a little nonsense. <laughs> is that little Uzi's cousin? Big Job been Boosie. on the show before, right? Little Boosie. Big oh. Job. You ain't never been on the show? Wait a second. Somebody say. I think so. Yeah, we didn't have motherfuckers on this show, D. Might have been one of them weeks when it's you was. Been a, um, it's almost 12 years in January, Corey. Wow, 12 years. These years done passed by, yeah. dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad I still got hair. Oh, you brat. You Somebody to... say, bring back Stevie J. <laughs> hey, cook. <laughs> <laughs> the crib is Muslim. Right, the Muslim crib. Muslim Asalama crib. cousin. Oh, oh. <laughs> Homie. Stevie J hit me the other day, too. I got to hit him back. The crazy ass nigga. Love you, boy. Anyway, man, we finna wrap this shit up, man. I don't know what everybody doing when they leave here, goddammit, but goddammit, it, as long as it's something positive. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Fuck that bitch twice in the night, even mm-hmm. if she a De Frisco Dyke. Double tap, bro. You got to double tap. I can tell Dyke pussy, goddammit. It tastes hollow. Oh. <laughs> like right. It don't taste plastic. Yeah, uh, bitch, bitch, uh, old freak, Aww. bitch. Uh, anyway, Tiffany Haddish was a surprise yeah, when she came great. on the show. Yeah. Grammy winning. We ain't gonna have Shout Will out Smith to that on the waterfall show. Waterfall mouth. Nick, Nick Cannon. <laughs> Kwame Brown would be a great guest. We look at them motherfuckers. The hypnotist would be back. Bring back Freeze. Freeze, we're going to come and call him and see where he at. Freeze will come through, goddammit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It Gorgeous Dre. Hell yeah. Come Dre coming to town next week. He got to do some um, thing for his um, album. You know, Dre got an album out. Oh, okay. You listen to that shit. He got a video out with me in it. A song. Living the life of this game. Living the life of this game. Y'all sleep on it. Check out Dre's shit. And go visit Dre on his shit. Say, yo, 5150 checking in. Dre taught me some shit. You know what I'm saying? Much respect. Gorgeous Dre in this motherfucker. Hey, so uh-huh. bring <laughs> hey, some of these cities don't show up with nothing. But Columbus, goddamn it, you yeah. showed up and showed out. Columbus always fuck with a nigga, man. Anyway, yeah. David Banner been on the show, you dig? Oh, D-Ray, David, D-Ray was just on D-Ray, here. D-Ray, got David Carlos, the 85 South boys. Rizza Islam, Willie D. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This 5150 thing. Porters can come on and put some dandruff on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that bitch. He said bring comedy hype on. <laughs> comedy hype will come on with Nas X. <laughs> right. <laughs> Comedy hater ain't gonna show up. He gonna send motherfuckers. I be hating with motherfuckers. I ain't gonna lie. I saw some shit. Motherfuckers be saying, oh, Corey is like Kevin Samuels. I hate that shit. I've been out here longer than Kevin Samuels. And on top of that, nigga, I don't fuck niggas. Oh, my Lord. Here we go. I'm just saying, I don't fuck niggas. We had Brian Everybody Pump seen on him here. Yeah. Oh yeah, Country Wayne was on here. Country Wayne was on here. We had Big Joe. Daddy called. Yep. So did we had Joe on um, Porno Dude on here. Z. Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus. Right. What up, bro, bro? Let Duval. God damn it. Oh, we had Cat mm-hmm. Williams on here one day. Cat'll mm-hmm. pop up. Yeah. It's just God damn it, niggas be out there getting that bread. <laughs> Cat getting that bread now. That nigga selling out them big ass motherfucking arenas and shit. Mm. Get that money, Cat. Corey Hogan getting ready to sign out. 51 motherfucking 50 will not be stopped. 5150. Even niggas on rocks. Come on. Watch the show as we go. As I try to flow. I'm over here. About to go to a bitch house and drink her beer. (laughs) Her children are asleep. Oh dear. Her daughter 19. I'm in there. Better fuck that bitch twice in the night. If you want that bitch acting right. Better fuck that bitch twice in the night. You want that bitch at then bro. You got a double tapper. 5150, we up out this bitch, motherfucker. 5150, bitch. Bye. Columbus.